It was mixed with eggs, butter, uh, cheese, yogurt. Okay, so they put it down, then he heated up the top, put it on top, yeah. put a weight on it, and now he's getting the ashes, he's gonna put them under, and then five minutes later, it's yeah. cooked. So he'll put some, uh, some more uh, ashes on top of it. Welcome to Albania. This stunning country along the Adriatic and the Ionian Sea is one of the most underrated travel destinations in all of Europe, boasting hearty food, friendly locals, and breathtaking natural beauty. In this documentary, I'm taking you to southern and southeastern Albania to explore the cities of Korcha and Girokaster. Korcha is the largest city in southeastern Albania and is known as the City of Serenades. It has a thriving music and cultural scene and is also known for its balconies, where local men would sing beautiful ballads. Then we're heading to Girokaster, a UNESCO World Heritage City, which is famous for its stunning Ottoman-style houses and well-preserved Girokaster Castle, which dates back to at least the 12th century. Just below the castle is the Old Bazaar, where we'll meet local stone and wood carvers and learn more about Albanian handicrafts. Of course, we can't visit these cities without diving into their food scene. From hearty trahana and pork with plum marmalade in Korcha, to creamy chicken tavas in Girokaster, this will be a mouth-watering adventure like no other. Hang on tight, grab a snack, and join me as we explore these hidden gems in southern and southeastern Albania. Let's go! Good evening, everyone. I hope you're all doing amazing. This is David Hoppin from David's Bin here, coming at you from beautiful Albania. I'm here with my boy Erjan, and tonight we're driving over to the city of Korche. Korche looks amazing. They refer to it as Little Paris, and it's on the border with Greece in the mountains. We're taking the road from Pogradac all the way to Girakasta. It's only a 30 minute drive from Pogradac this way, this route. And today what we're doing is we're gonna go to the hotel. We're gonna check in, beautiful hotel. After that, we're going to dinner. We're gonna have a feast, delicious Albanian food. We're probably gonna try some of the beer because this place is famous for their beer. Yeah. And then we're gonna go to a Rakia bar. So Korcha dates back to Roman times, so as every city, but here we're going to see a lot of history and a lot of beautiful uh, places like cathedrals, churches, mosques, new ba uh, old bazaar, everything. And uh, people at afternoon time, they go all around, so we'll enjoy, we'll cheer up with people. Yeah, everybody tells me like you cannot miss Korcha. That's the one city you have to visit in the south. It's a little hard to get to, as I said, from Pogadets it's 30 minutes, but if you come from Girakastar, it's like four hours. And if you come from Tirana, it's even longer. I don't even know how many hours that would be. That would be like four or five hours. Yeah, exactly. So it's it's exactly. deep in the mountains. It's hard to get to, but definitely worth it. And this is it, Korcha. Beautiful. Love it. As we're driving in, you can see lots of beautiful buildings. And over here, to the right, we have the cathedral. And our hotel is right in front of the cathedral. Yeah? Yeah. That's amazing. So wake up right here. So what's the name of the hotel? In Gallery. In Gallery Hotel. In Gallery. Yeah. So in Gallery Hotel, and this is it. Literally right in front of the cathedral. Thank you. Could have been dead. Right here. Nice. And so this is in Gallery Boutique Hotel. Downstairs they have a restaurant, they have a bar. I love this place. It's like a chill lounge. They have 18 rooms and they have a spa. Let's go see my room. Uh, this is uh, the newest hotel in Korcha. Two months hotel. We are in first floor. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Awesome. And this is my boutique hotel room. Super chic, sleek. I like it. This is nice. Very nice. King size bed, very low to the floor. Odd wood. Beautiful. Look at this. Look at this wood closet, the wooden floor, the carpet. We have right here a place, yeah, a little fridge, and then. This is my terrace, right? Very nice. So I have a view of some houses. We also have a really nice small workstation. I like it. This is like, it's a place to put your computer, put your hard drives, that's it. Big TV, and over here is the bathroom. Oh, dude, look at this bathroom. Wow, what an awesome bathroom. This is so unique. So they have wood floor under the toilet and the shower, and over here, it's concrete. This is an incredible hotel. I'm so excited to stay here for the next two nights. I'm gonna really enjoy it. Right now I'm gonna take a shower and get ready to go out, explore, have some food and some rakia. Let's go. What's up, man? Hi, David. Welcome to In Gallery. My name is Irvi. I'm the manager of the hotel here at In Gallery. 
This is a rooftop of the hotel and the restaurant as well. This is where people can have breakfast and other meals as well. You guys have to see this. The view from here is ridiculous. Overlooking the whole city, we have the cathedral right there. Beautiful mountains. Love it, man. I love the setting too. This boutique hotel is ridiculous. Like I love this. I, I love rooftops. Rooftops are the best. And if you don't stay at the hotel, if you just want to come for lunch or dinner, they have an express elevator, you can take that as well. But right now, I want to show you the spa. They have a spa, and I'm gonna get a massage tomorrow for sure. Okay, so we just got here to the spa, and I gotta show you all their amazing rooms. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, over here we have first their pool. Look at this. This is ridiculous. So you walk on the steps, then you go under. It's so modern. I love it, industrial. The next thing we have over here is the waiting room. So you just wait here for your massage. As soon as you're ready, you go. They give you some juice and some waters. Over here we have a single massage room. So it's two singles. Beautiful, I love it, bro. Look at this, we have a salt room. What? It's crazy. The salt room, I've never seen this in my, in my entire life, never. Over here we have two finished saunas, right? Over here we have a double room. So if you're here with your wife, your, you know, your spouse, go in there, together you do it. Over here we have a very unique uh, shower. So it's three different showers. This one has 12 different settings. True, yeah. 12 settings. And over here we have the steam room. Literally as you open it, it just comes out. Oh yeah. And this is the best part. This is really the best room in the spa. The Turkish bath, the hammam. This is so cool. Tomorrow I'm gonna lay right here. She's gonna take off all the skin. It's the best. And that's it, guys. So you get to do a massage when you come for sure, and you have to. You have to like spend at least an hour or two in here. Okay. I'm tired, bro. I'm going to dinner. I need to take a shower. <laughs> Thanks, man. I'm gonna... Ready for dinner? Yep. Where are we? So we are in the center of Korsha. Now we are going to our dinner in a very good place. Special dinner. So let's go and try. So right here we have the cathedral. Yep. Across we have a pedestrian street, right? Uh, over there is the new ba uh, the bazaar, which is the Ottoman architecture. So what we are going to explore tomorrow, a cathedral that was built, uh, was rebuilt during uh, 1996, something like this. And it's a cathedral with very beautiful frescoes inside. So we're going to check it tomorrow, because now it's nighttime. Yeah. It's cool, everybody's walking, very yeah. relaxing. Lots of cafes, lots of restaurants over here, a few different ones. Everybody loves being outside in Albania. Yeah, everybody is so happy here. It's happier than other towns, I don't know why. But this city gives you a, a positive feeling. And tonight we're also going to try their famous beer, Korcha beer. Korcha beer. It's dark beer, right? Dark. A dark, blonde beer, so you can choose. And this is where we're having dinner tonight. It's an Albanian villa, it's called Kofiel. David, you're going to love it. As soon as you enter this restaurant, it's like a beautiful terrace with lots of tables, got some umbrellas, and then if you see, going up to the entrance of the house, they have like different plants, lots of trees, I mean it sort of feels like from outside it's abandoned, but as soon as you walk in you notice that that's not the case. I mean this place is beautiful, he's saying the food here is absolutely incredible. We're gonna try maybe some alcohol, some good food. Uh, David, this is uh, the special rocky of the house, let's see how we taste. Mm. It's like Jagermeister. Oh yeah? Yeah, it's a bit sweet, but it's uh, lighter than we have tried so far. So I think this can be drink so easy. Mm. That's perfect. My boy is saying it's very sweet and light and tastes like Jagermeister. The same fruit, whatever they use. It's like whatever they're using, same thing. Oh yeah, it's nice, it's smooth, it's easy. Wow, that's not rakia. Next up, we're trying the house wine, but it's a reserve. This looks really good. Quante anni hai queste? Quasi quattro anni. Quattro anni, so four years, this one. Gazor. Gazor, bro. Mmm. Smooth? Yeah. Like Rocky. I don't even know what grape this is, but it looks great. So it's a cab in Merlot. Oh man, it's good. Smooth, full body. Oh, this is gonna pair perfectly with like some meat dish. Here in the mountains, I'm sure you eat a lot more meat, right? More meat up here. This is a Korcha feast. Some of these dishes you can only find here in this restaurant. Nowhere else in Korcha, nowhere else in Albania. I think this is one of them. This is like a, a pork that has like marmalade. I don't even know it. Like, 
smells like plums. It's amazing. Here we have the red pepper being stuffed. Got some huge beans, they look amazing. Over here we have a salad. This is like, it's almost like a burek that is made of cheese, but with honey on top, and they cut it in pieces. Over here we have meatballs. This is four different dips, and the wine. So I'm gonna start off with this pork. This pork looks absolutely amazing. The color is straight up purple. Wow. I'm gonna also grab one of these beautiful, look at this, beautiful red peppers, and it's stuffed with some cheese. Oh, wow. Amazing beans. Look at these beans. So good. I'm gonna get a lot of these. I love beans. Mmm. These are giant. It's like honey. Mmm. This is amazing. Just straight up cheese burek that is dipped in honey. Wow. This is the best. Mmm. Dip in some more honey. Phenomenal. Mm. I think I'm just gonna try the pork straight up. It looks so rich. This is like the most delicious pork of all time. It's almost like a marmalade, a plum, and it's sweet. So sweet. Mm. Oh. Everything comes from the farm. These beans come from the area. Hey. Everybody has been delicious, bro. Like, next up, I'm jumping on this super stuffed pepper. Wow. Look at this. It's almost like a cream cheese and red pepper. Look at these beans, man. These beans are fire. Mm. Next up, I'm jumping on these meatballs. I think there's yogurt on top, right? There's herbs in here. Mm, it's juicy. A lot of creaminess with the yogurt. I tried everything except the dips and the salad, but I'm loving this. The pork is so sweet. Mm. The meatballs are fire. Tastes like chivapi cheek. Similar spices, grill. Mm. Dude, we haven't even tried the salad. Salad, sauce is spicy. Yeah. I haven't had one spicy thing on this so, trip yet. Well, do something, put four sauce together, four seasons. So, winter, autumn, spring, and summer. Let's try. Mm. I'm gonna do what Urjan said. Try the four seasons. Mm -hmm. This pizza is a little different. Oh wow, it's spicy, bro. Mm -hmm. The spicy one. So I think it's like a super hot pepper. Mm -hmm. My man, are you done? Uh, yeah, we have eaten a lot today, so the food was very delicious, and uh, we had seven uh, plates, very very tasty. Thank you. Amazing dinner. Okay. Thank you so much. The owner's too nice. He gave me a gift. Yeah. His delicious raki. It's a baked raki. Yeah, it's called baked raki. So now we are going to the bazaar and to taste some raki. So it's the best place, which is called Komiteti. So you try in Tirana. Here is something different. Yeah, in Tirana I went to this place, Kometi. It's like a Komiteti. Komiteti. It's like a bar, cafe, raki yeah. bar. Raki bar. And I did a flight of raki. I did like eight rakis. They had some super, super strong ones, a spicy one, yeah. but then also some sweet ones. So the Museum of Education, or exactly the first school of Albanian language. So it looks like an old Ottoman building. 1887. So it was almost the end of Ottoman Empire, and. Uh, but the Renaissance felt that something is going to change, so they immediately started to spread Albanian language all over. Because that time was Turkish language used in Albania, but Albanian language never died and is spoken since uh, Illyrian time, best part of Forja. Yeah. People walk here. 
Yeah, it's very wide. Yeah. You have bars, restaurants, markets. And you feel it's cooler here than in Tirana. It's and so cool. Yeah. Like, I, I would love it to be a little colder, to put on like a sweater or beanie, yeah. something just to relax, because it's, it's perfect though. Right now it's perfect. Well, so many families, huh? Yeah, St. George Boulevard. We took the name of from the cathedral, and this is the most famous boulevard after the bazaar. So two main things here is bazaar and this one, so you'll enjoy a lot. So in bazaar we'll be in two minutes, so it's 50 meters from here. And uh, there we are going to taste some great raki from Komiteti. Entering to the bazaar, so you can see they start with honey bazaar, which means it was a place for uh, to gather in together. And this entrance is, you can see this, uh, the cobblestones, uh, the, the wall is so nice, you feel you feel the Ottoman area. This is the center of the old bazaar. It used to be bazaar, but now it's like an open square. Yeah. All the buildings are different bars. That is it. And you're saying that each one has different rakis. Exactly. Every each one has different raki, different uh, style of serving raki. Okay. So different kind of stay saying like cheers to the raki. So it's uh, this place is amazing. And it's you can packed. See, and it's full of people now. So it's people packed. cheering here. Hey. So welcome, David. Welcome in Comité of Korcha. I told you, nicer than Tirana. So. We have a rule here. They have a rule here. To understand it, you have to take this one and go upstairs. So I have a marker? Yeah, that's a marker. So I'm gonna have to do graffiti up there? Uh, let's check. This place is like a cafe museum. Oh, this is cool. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Oh, that's a nicer toilet than the one in uh, Roshnik, man. It's a Rakia. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's a toilet in the Rakia, like the distillation. That is awesome, man. Oh, man. Doesn't smell that good in here. <laughs> All right, right here. Oh, my God, it doesn't fit. Ah, it's, it's hard. It's hard in here. Yeah. This is oh. great, bro. This is, this is so cool. How do you guys make this? It's insane. Yeah. So, this place is a museum, right? Old building, you have plates, they have so many different things from different eras. That is equal, you know, uh, ethno, right? And then over here, that you just go over here and chill out. Nice area. This is for the half of Albanians. Yes. <laughs> Mine was like a super sweet Serbi. Mine was super sour. Super sour? Yeah. Okay, the next one. The first one I did was my room here and let me My turn. That was another fruity one. It's good though. Okay, my friend. Let's do another one. Mmm. Uzo. Promise. Adis. Oh. That was strong. Alright, man, let's go. Another one. <laughs> this is a spicy one. Yeah. <laughs> this is the, <laughs> the bomb. <laughs> <laughs> so now he gave us a palate cleanser, and this is passion fruit. Passion fruit. Just go in, do all the flesh. Mm. Love the seeds. Mm. And then, yeah. yeah. Yeah, fat cleanser. So this is for stabilization of feelings. <laughs> Do we have another round, right? Oh yeah. Another round. This is another eight. Another eight racky. Another eight racky. Oh my god, how do we do this? Same thing? Go all out? Ready? Cheers. Cheers. Mm. That was easier. Yeah, always the first ones are easier. Have you noticed that? Well, he said to go from here to here. Yeah. It's so a flight. Usually it's the lowest alcohol yeah. to the hardest. Yeah. I'm not getting the last one. That's you. So I'm taking this one. You don't like the colored drinks? I love the colored drinks. They're oh, the best. Gazur, Gazur. Gazur. That was smooth. 
Yeah, that's good. Mm. Man, like herbs. Mm. So different, right? And these are all made from somebody from the the company, right? Is the yeah. company? Yeah. Wow. So they make all these, and they have like 15 right now. The other one in Tirana had 35, but saying they're all seasonal. Yeah, you know, I live in Albania, and I can't believe they have 35 kind of rakhi. All right, let's do this. Ah, well done. Just like fruity, flavorful, strong. Yeah, getting strong. strong. Getting stronger, the end is always strong and you feel like burning. Yeah. It feels good. Yeah, it feels good. It gives you like a wish to live more. So it's the last one. The last one. So we had eight each. We had our own flights each. Eight. Yeah. 16 bad. together. It looks more. It feels more. This is oh, what is that? Rose water. Rose right? water, yeah. Oh, it's an amazing pack cleanser. This is awesome. So you have a flight, pack cleanser, another flight, pack cleanser. Yeah. So you don't get drunk. My friend here doesn't want to stop giving us Raki. He has so many Rakias. So many. We already tried eight each, so 16, two flights. And so, then so we have 16 Raki in our face. No, it's eight each, man. Eight, eight each. each yeah. And then three more, so 11. 11. And, and they're not so strong. They're not as strong yeah, as like straight grapes. So you can take uh, 11 shots and you'll like just feel nice. You'll feel nice. You won't be buzzed. Yeah. No, you'll be buzzed. You won't be drunk. Yeah. Ready? Okay. Let's start. Let's just go. You start with this one. I start with this one? All right. Yeah, I start with this one. Okay. Cheers. Gazor, gazor. That was coffee. Coffee. Yeah. Great. Mm. You start with this one, I start with this one. Okay. Yeah. This guy is not taking any of the, the, the dark ones. Only crystal clear. It's good, but I don't even know what it is. Yeah, me too. It's the wild uh, berry. Wild berry, okay. Yeah, yeah it's it a red one. taste. Yeah. Mm. It's good. Oh, well, they're both colorful, so I, I, I tried this one. Okay. It looks. Sweet, like sweet. That's good. Coffee. Coffee. Oh, yeah. Love of Korcha. This one. Oh man, that's super tasty. Great pack cleanser again. All right, guys, so that's it. Yeah. We explored Korcha. We started Korcha. Korcha? Korcha. And Korcha. This is the bazaar. <laughs> yeah, so we started at the hotel, had an experience there, saw my room, saw the spa. The rest of we had tonight is coffee. Coffee. Yeah. Coffee. Amazing food. The best food. Wow. The pork. I mean, everything was so good. The Rocky, the wine, we saw the bazaar, we walked in, yeah, went to Comedetti, yeah. and we had non stop Rakia, non stop, like yeah, too good. Non stop. So, if you guys love this video, yeah. give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment below, subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content, this and I'll see you in another. This is very real content, man. <laughs> we are now not thinking about the video, so we are just thinking about the life. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next travel food adventure here in Gorcha, Albania. Good morning everyone, I hope you're all doing amazing. This is David Hoffman from David's Bin here, coming at you from the beautiful city of Korcha, Albania. In southern Albania, this city is gorgeous. It's in the mountains, right next to Greece, like really, really stunning place. It's a really ancient city, lots of things to see and do here. I'm here at my hotel right now, it's called the Inn Gallery, and this is an amazing boutique hotel. 18 rooms, they have an incredible spa, which I'm gonna use later. I cannot wait to go to that spa, and they have this beautiful, stunning rooftop restaurant. 
If you're staying at the hotel, you can have breakfast here, which is what we're gonna do. We're gonna have tahana, which is a traditional dish they eat for breakfast, but here it's a little different. We're gonna go in the back now, we're gonna see how they make it. And then after this, we're gonna go explore the city. We're gonna see the bazaar, we're gonna see the cathedral, we're gonna see the main street, and explore what else we can do here in Korsha, Albania. Are you guys ready? Let's go explore, let's go eat, let's do this. And he's making trahana, which is basically fermented grains. Grains with a base, the, the fermentation is based from tomatoes. I love this dish. This is one of my favorites. Thank Always you. for breakfast, right? The breakfast. Yes, dish. breakfast. This and after the hangover is perfect. Great. And the bread you guys have here? Yes, the bread is perfect. I we can't made wait. it alone. Uh, we made it here. It's home, uh, house made. Also, you can see the the baked one there. We chop it because it's better for the drahana. So it soaks into the juices of it. That's the drahana. We have the trahana, as we told before, the fermented grains. We pour it in a plate. Then, dry, sun-dried tomatoes, which they change the texture inside of it. We add a bit of, it, of its oil, whole grain bread, so it soaks the trahana. Sweet smoked paprika. We have also butter, which is with smoked paprika, and it's nearly burnt butter, but it's not burnt. We pour it. Edible flowers always. And we are ready to serve with a side of goat cheese. Enjoy. Thank you very much. Good. You're the best, bro. <laughs> and this is our trahana. Beautiful. So we just saw how he made it, right? It's grains that are fermented with tomato. And then he adds some beautiful bread, some flowers, some seeds. On the side, we have some goat cheese, the best. This is very similar to feta. And right here, we have an orange juice, pure. Wow, that is fresh. That's the best part about this country. You never have like juices that aren't fresh. Never added preservatives or anything like that. All right, guys, let's dive into the trahana. Look at this. Let's do this. Mm. Oh man, this one's good. Wow. Very similar to grits. A little more watery. And the bread, I love it because it's very clumpy. It's perfect. I mean, they make the bread here. So the bread basically absorbs the trahana. I like the smokiness of the tomato. Wow. Get some flour here. So this was a dish that people would have, you know, during the communism at that time, right? Yeah. Because it was very like poor. It's something you can make really fast. I think it's great though. It's an easy dish, not so so many ingredients. And goat cheese just makes everything better. I just adds way more flavor. Oh guys, I forgot to try this. Sun-dried tomato. Mmm. The oil is burst. What incredible trahana. The best part about this dish is the view. Eating it here, incredible too. This one is like another level of a delicious. Mm. So man, are you ready to explore Korcha? I'm ready, man. Okay, man, let's go. Let's go. Right when we walk outside the hotel, we are in the smack center of the city. Literally one minute walk over here to the cathedral. This is the main street. So let's do the cathedral first, right? Yeah, so we start with the cathedral. The most beautiful one. This cathedral reminds me of like a Byzantine church, but this is actually a new one because during communist era, they destroyed most mos uh, most mosques, most churches, right? Yeah, exactly. 2,500, something like this. So they destroy all churches, mosques. Take it because we have another religion here called Pektash religion. So they rebuilt this ch this cathedral in the same place where it was St. John Church. Nowadays, this is the cathedral of Korcha, one of the most beautiful we have in Albania. So we just entered the Resurrection of Christ Cathedral. It was destroyed in 1968 by the communists, and then 1995, Greece paid for this church to be rebuilt, and it's an Orthodox church, obviously. You can see all around, it's like a lot of paintings, paintings everywhere, every single inch of the walls is a painting of either a king, a saint, Jesus, Mary, Peter, Joseph, I mean, probably apostles, 
it's just never ending. I can't even tell who they are. And in the center, as you can see, it's not like benches. Here it's seats. Uh, you know, each Orthodox religion is a little different. Some of them have no seats. Some of them, just, you know, just standing, right? Yeah, like Serbian Orthodox, it doesn't have seats. Greek Orthodox, they have. So. Yeah, exactly. And that's it, guys. I mean, this is sort of what it is. If you want to make a prayer, you know, you go in the front, you put a, I think it's a hundred or a fifty lakh, and then you can get a candle. Yeah. Light a candle for the loved one. Usually, that's what I do for my grandmother. I always light a candle and pray for her. So I was wrong. It's not fifty or hundred lakh. This one is five. Leg, five leg, six leg, ten leg, twenty leg. I got a, I have a hundred, so I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get five of these. So that's one U.S. dollar, guys. And why do you do this? Obviously, you're giving back to the church. You're making a prayer, and that's how it works, right? So this is the boulevard, yeah. pedestrian street, lined with restaurants, cafes, shops. We came here last night. It was pretty beautiful at night, and it's cooler. Yeah. A lot easier and what's the name of the church uh, uh, so the name of boulevard is saint saint george or saint george in albanian language so it has the name of the church that was built before which was destroyed by the communist saint george church so it took the name of the church the boulevard of saint george and at the end of this street there's actually a tower and it's just like an observation tower right yeah that's you can so go up there we can go up there and do okay. have like a like a drone view <laughs> a drone view from up there awesome yeah. yeah i mean this place is it's alive you know there's never any people here this is where everybody comes in Korcha to like congregate and look dude this is like from the 19th century <laughs> okay this is the same thing like in great britain you know so we have another interesting story about exactly this place so as you can see, there is a, there are outlines of a church that was existing here, which, which was built in 1905, but destroyed during communist time, like many churches, as I told you. So we can see exactly the outlines of a cathedral, which uh, they decided to make this in 2017 to commemorate that that cathedral. And during communist time, they instead of they destroyed church and they built this library, library of the city of Korcha, the bibliotheque. You know, during communist era. This country became an atheist country. No religion. No religion. Zero religion. So they destroyed yeah. as many churches and mosques as possible. So they sent to jail every priest, every imam that tried to, to practice the, the religion. And people were forbidden to, to go to, to pray. And uh, if they tried to do it, they were, they were sent to jail. We made it here to the end of the street. Here's uh, like a mini square, right? And this is the tower I was talking about. It's a little out of place architecturally. It's like a long box. Yeah. But from there, you can go up and you have a bird's eye view over the entire city of Korce. And you wanted to show me something over here? Yeah, I want to show you the villages around Korce, which are so popular to, for tourists, especially Voskopoi, which, which in the 18th century was a big, a huge city. But now this is just a village with many, many churches. You can see the, the places that you can go for a short tour during the winter and summertime in Voskopoja, in Darda, which uh, is so special during the winter time, you can ski in there. And Prespa Lake, which is not far from here, it's a lake, Prespa is, sh is shared with Macedonia and Greece, North Macedonia and Greece. So it's 50 lakh per person to go up, which is 50 cents. So, let's go up. Let's do it, Sen. Uh, wow, bro, what a view. What a view, I mean, this is incredible. Yeah, the, and you, you can look at the cathedral, so beautiful view. Yeah. Cathedral over here, mountains, the entire city. Over there we have that big mountain. What's the name of that big mountain? It's uh, Tomori Mountain, if that's one. I'm just yeah, it's hard to see it from here, but yeah. I know from the other side for sure. Wow, a little scary, man. No? Yeah. Oh my god. It's like you're on the edge. Wow. And this, I guess, was like a mini cafe, right? People like to have it in the boulevard, the cafe, not here. Yeah. So, yeah, so there's something you can do, right? You can come here, see this. If you want to just walk down, you can do that as well, right? You can walk down. You can take the steps, yeah. Yeah, you can take the steps. I think it's the best view. I mean, if you want to get a bird's eye view of Korche, come here, 50 cents, definitely worth it. Wow. This is actually like really scary because the way it's like turned. Okay, so we finished up here, took a bunch of photos, enjoyed the view. Now it's really bizarre. First time up here? First time. Here we go, Bazaar of Korche. Only a two minute walk from the tower. You pass through a bustling city right now. Lots of people selling things, selling watches, corn, hair, I mean, so many different things. This is the bazaar. Love it. As soon as you hit the bazaar, the street changes. There's like a 
big stones, you know, really Ottoman style, yeah. really old, three, four hundred years old. And this is where you know you start, right? Hani Pazar? Hani Pazar? Hani Pazar, That's yeah. like the entrance. Yep. And then here, I mean, we're seeing lots of shops, restaurants. Shops, restaurants, bars. So many, many shops are around here. But Albanians love coffees. That's why we have many, many bars here. So we are considered the, the first one comparing. If you see the number of people that live here with the number of bars, so we are the first in the world having so many bars for, for, for like one bar for 50 people. Our first stop here is Hani Pisar. This is like an old school guest house for the Ottoman army. Let's go inside and see it. As you can see, Hani Pazar nowadays works as a boutique hotel, but it was also used as an accommodation place during the Ottomans. So when they came from far away, so they accommodate themselves here. So it, they are keep using the same style, but of course nowadays it looks much nicer and the furniture is impressive. Yeah, so it's two stories. Inside you have a courtyard. Here you have a well. Yeah. It's an old well. Wow. So important. Very yeah. Important. Hotel. Love the rooms. This is really nice. So outside of each room, you have a place to sit. It's like I sleep here. I come here, have my coffee. Yeah. It's great. This place is beautiful. The uh, stones are original from Ottoman time. You can see. So it's supposed to be straight, but you can see how how it has existed for a long time. Like Arjun said, these are original stones from Ottoman period and as soon as you walk in this is how it used to be right obviously it's been restored but this is super nice I love this room this room is it's a boutique hotel I mean it's clean sleek obviously past and future combined dude what a place and here we are back in the square inside the center of the bazaar and this is made up of just bars a few restaurants but mostly bars this is Kometeti, where we were last night. Amazing, delicious right here. They have like 35 different types. And over here, it's just never ending, right? A few souvenir shops, but mostly bars. Bars. Because you guys love drinking yeah. coffee. Coffee, rakia. rakia, beers, everything. So this city has the best rakia and one of the best beer, Vira Korcha. Vira Korcha, so. which is funny that I haven't tried it. I'm gonna try it today, for sure. But yeah, so the way this place works is that you walk through here, keep walking and it goes in a circle, right? Yeah. And you go back out. That's like the entrance and out. Architecture, they are uh, they are saving architecture, the same style as in the past. So that's the best thing of this bazaar. So you can see the houses, two floor houses, uh, the windows, small windows, the perfect. Yeah, and no one lives here, right? These are mostly like... For, they're like, using for businesses. For business, yeah. okay, yeah. Because Cometeti, we went there yesterday and it, that was somebody's old house, but they converted that into yeah. a bar and upstairs. It's like more seating area, bathroom, etc. So I guess, let's go buy some stuff. I want to buy something for my kids and maybe have a little rakia? Maybe? <laughs> no. you, you're good? No, no, I'm gonna have my rakia. I'll okay. buy my kids some presents. Okay. We are having a coffee first. I'm going to Coca-Cola. What do you want to drink, coffee? Uh, yeah. Uh, Doppio, Doppio Express. This is very relaxing. Sit down at any of these cafes, get a coffee, people watch. Most people are sitting facing the square, obviously, unless they're in a group. But yeah, that's what you do here. Mm, that's a strong coffee. It's like a Turkish coffee, my god. So once you pass the square, you can see lots of little streets here. It's called Cuba Street. More cafes, tons of cafes. Few different vendors selling different things like over here I think he has some grain right sugar over here you have some luggage over there is like just cloth and stuff so vendors as well lots of vendors on this side and over here this entire street is closed wow I guess they're remodeling right okay so I entered this souvenir shop to see if I can find anything for my girls um, we're really looking for something unique Albanian I don't know do you have anything for kids what is that this is a bell. This is a bell you put on the door? Okay. Thank you, Fermenteri, Fermenteri, Fermenteri. So this lady has some really nice stuff. These are small handbags for girls that she knitted, right? She knitted these. I like this pink one. Can I see this one? This one? So you made it. You made yeah. it. Yeah? We. Oui. We? Oui? Let me see. Can I see what else you have in here? Yeah. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, fantastic. Okay, so I like that one. I, I take this for my daughter. Uh -huh. uh, do you have uh, another one blue? Blue? No. No? No. Uh, if you can stay here for maybe two hours, we can do. You can make it? Yeah. Alright guys, so I bought this one for my daughter. She's gonna love it. She loves pink. 
and they don't have another one for my youngest, so she's gonna knit one for me right now. It takes two hours, so I'll come back here and pick it up. So it costs a thousand each, so roughly 10 US dollars. I think it's a great gift for my kids. They're gonna love it. It's handmade here in Albania. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. I'll see you in two hours. And this shop is right here at the entrance of the square. You have like four shops, and this is it. Great. So that was the bazaar of Korcha, over 400 years old, really traditional, authentic. I love it. You can walk through, you can have a drink, have a coffee, buy some souvenirs. Best time to go is in the morning, like we did, you know, before 11 and after, after six, yeah, like after around six. six. Yeah, when it's sunset time, it's, it's, it's perfect, it's right? Perfect, yeah. yeah, so it's cooler, you, you can enjoy a great coffee and the rakia. And the rakia, always the rakia. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> we are promoting it a lot. <laughs> I mean, rakia is it's a big part of their culture. You know, yeah. every single house makes rakia. So it, the boulevard, except the ca cafes, has a lot of interesting buildings. Like this one here is a Romanian building, which was built in 1936 by a Romanian family. And still nowadays has the same uh, architecture, same style, just the color is different. Oh. And now we are going to check uh, the Museum of Education, which is just renovated, was the first Albanian school. And uh, nowadays you can have a, a short time to, if you want to know more about our history, how Albanian language started. So basically during the Ottoman period, all the schools would teach in Turkish, right? Because that's what they spoke, the Ottomans. So this is the first school that started teaching in Albanian at the end of the 18, 18, 1880s? 1887. Yeah. 1887, okay. Yeah. The Ottoman Empire was almost ending, so they started immediately teaching Albanian language. So in this case, they could protect the future. All right, guys, we explored Korce, a beautiful city. We started off the morning really early at the In Gallery Hotel. We had a traditional breakfast, the Trahana, delicious. We saw how they made it, we saw they made some bread, also some fruit, like tower, incredible spot. This hotel is amazing, and it's looking in the center of the city, literally like one minute away from this street. Also, the cathedral, the bazaar is five minutes away. So we saw the cathedral, we went down the street, walked to the bazaar, saw the bazaar, had a coffee, you know, I bought some stuff for my kids. Oh, and we also went to the tower and from there you get the best views the best views of Korce and that's basically what you can do here in the center you can also go to the beer factory if you want to the Korce beer factory try their beer you can go to many different villages in the neighborhood so if you're gonna do this place I suggest minimum two nights if you want to do a third to go explore villages because each one takes around 35 40 minutes to get to because they're in the mountain yeah well guys I hope you love this video if you did please give me a thumbs up leave me a comment below subscribe my channel for more awesome travel content I'll see you in the next travel food adventure in Korce let's go What's up everyone, this is David Hoffman from David's Binia coming at you from beautiful Korcha, Albania. Today I'm super pumped because I'm going to be eating some delicious Korcha food and trying their beer. For lunch we're here at restaurant or Taverna Vasili. Taverna Vasili is one of the best in the city. It's a steakhouse, they have lots of meats, lots of veg. And then after this, we're going to drive over to Korcha Brewery, the oldest brewery in the country dating back to 1928. They have blondes and they have like a dark beer. It looks amazing. Everybody has told me you have to try the beer when you come to Korcha. So we're gonna do that. Are you guys ready, are you excited? Let's go explore Korche. All the restaurants here in Korche are like old houses that have been converted into straight up restaurants. This one, as you can see, walking up the steps, they have a terrace, five tables, very nice, outdoor, beautiful breeze. And you walk in, very nice, I like it. Wooden tables, got a couch here. So there's a few tables, and this is like, you know, shared area, right? And over here we have some pictures of old school Korche, old school Korche all over, you know, 100 years ago. They have wines, lots of beef. Wow, I love how they just show it here. Look at this. Oh man, incredible beef. Best in town. Okay, they also have a downstairs seating area. Oh wow, really, really big. So it's a very rustic feel, like barn, farm type of setting, you know? Over here they have some wines, like a mini cellar, right? Old school wines. Love the wooden tables, super unique. Everything is like, smells like a, a meat place, right? Steakhouse. Are you ready for some meat? I'm very ready. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm finally trying the Gorge of Beer. They only have two different styles, a blonde and a dark. This dark, I don't know if that exactly it's stout or porter. Let's try it. Mmm, it's nice. Nice dark beer. 
It's actually really chilled. It's perfect. I'm a little bit of beer snob. I love, love craft beer. This is nice though. This is their version of craft beer, right? So court shop beer. So it has a taste of like espresso beans. Uh, I think this is more like a porter style. Pretty sure. Mm. All right guys, so we're gonna start off with a delicious soup. What is this, like pumpkin or something, right? This soup is egg yolk, lemon, pepper, and some noodles, right? Let's try it. Mmm. And butter. It's nice. It's light. Mmm. I love the little noodles. Super tiny. This is my first soup in Albania, actually. I think we've been eating so much, like, vegetables, but this is the first soup soup. Oh wow, look at the food. Just arrived. So what do we have there? Different kind of meat, so meat, uh, grilled meat, and we have, uh, like, this one is pork, for example. This one. Mm, that's really so good. This pork rib actually um, was soaked with the beer. Beer, yeah. The beer, the courtship beer. So basically, it was sitting in the courtship beer, they baked in the courtship beer, and then they grilled it just to give it a little heat, right? First bite. Mm. Oh man, the skin's like crispy. Super juicy. Mm. Oh my god. This is probably one of my top ribs of all time. Mmm. The flesh just falls off the bone. So in our mixed platter, we have a few different things, right? So we have this is more pork, right? This is grilled pork. This is another pork that's marinated with something. I mean, it looks really like honey-ish. Then we also have some delicious beans, potatoes, red peppers, grilled cucumbers, and eggplant. The eggplant looks phenomenal. So I'm gonna jump on the eggplant first. Mm -hmm. Fresh, man, super fresh. And this is the grilled pork. Mm -hmm. Smoky, like a wild pig, you know? I guess it's very local. Meh. Beets, mm -hmm. the vegetables in Albania, you never go wrong with them. We had these beans yesterday, but I think today, probably better. Mm -hmm. We make fava beans. A little oily too. Damn, I like this more. But let's see how this one is. Mmm. Oh wow, I love the marination. And this is actually beef. I was like, that doesn't taste like pork. It tastes like beef. It's like veal, actually. Yeah, veal. Okay, so he just surprised us with another dish, and this is petula, but it's a little different. It has like nuts on top. It's a soft petula. It's not like a fried donut. Mmm. It's basically like lots of layers of crepes with nuts on top. I think we have some walnuts. I don't know what else is in here. It's not sweet at all, though. Mmm. It's a little bitter, but it's good. All right, I'm gonna mix the grilled pork with the petula. That was basically our lunch. We had a mixed variety of beef with pork and vegetables. Also with the beer, we're gonna go to the brewery later, so let's only drink one beer here. No one beer. So our friends in front of us are having veal that has been stuffed with mushrooms and yellow cheese. That looks phenomenal. Should have brought that to us, dude. I'm full, guys, but I wanted to tell you the red peppers here. Mmm. So much moisture. Look at these cuts. Woo! That is huge. What is that? So, right here we have sirloin steak, and this is actually aged here between 30 days and you said 300 to 300 days, so almost a year yeah. aging here. Wow. Dude, everything looks amazing. This is the best, though. The ribs? Everything with bone. The best. Filimenderi, 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 Filimenderi. Thank you, thank you. Thanks guys, thank you so much. The ribs, the best, the best. Thank you, bye. I am stuffed, but I'm excited, I'm pumped, because we're going to the brewery. To the brewery, Corte Brewery. Finally, I've been hearing so many good things. I'm excited, let's do this. Here we go, Korcha Brewery or Bira Korcha. 
Beautiful, love it. Huge tanks. Got the building over here. I'm guessing this is where the offices are. Over here to the left, we actually have a beer garden. There you can eat and drink. Oh, this is gonna be awesome. Finally, brewery tour. Mask on? Let's do this. Let's go inside. And this is it, the brewery. Oh, it smells amazing. Wow. So this room we just entered is a part of the brewery, right? And here we have different beers that they produce. So this is the light, this is new. They also have a blonde and they have the dark beer that I tried earlier. The dark beer was amazing. I can't wait to try the other two. It's gonna be good. I love the stools, man. The stools are made from like barrels. Wow, this is a big place. Okay, hello, hello. Okay, here we have four massive tanks. This is the mashing. Over here, we have the boiler. And to the right, we have all the ingredients they use. So there's the malt, the pilsen, uh, the lupulo. So all the different ingredients, right? That's a Bavaria malt, that's really good. And then over here, whoo, this is a hot room, guys. Big breweries, this is how they do it. You know, they have everything set. They have the formula and it just runs, you know, mashing, boiling, everything works together. Super easy compared to like smaller breweries where people are just like cleaning out tanks all day. You know, smaller is different. 10 million liters of beer every year, 10 million. That's the chemical room, which means uh, they check the beer. So every uh, production, they keep a bottle here and they check it month after month. Let's say they have sent, let's say a thousand liters somewhere and after a year, they check the quality of the beer that is produced in this day. So they check, uh, they make the analysis if, if it is still drinkable. If yes, means everything is perfect, no need to worry to the customers. Dude, where are we going through? Crazy. This is like a darkest room ever. Oh, we wanted the bottle and you can hear something. Okay guys, so we're here in the filtration room. And as you can see, they have this huge system. The beer is ready, it gets filtered, and this is it. He just poured two beers for us. We're drinking it right here. Gazor, Gazor. Oh, wow. So refreshing. Do the light beer, it's fire. Some good light beer. Man, it's so refreshing with the heat outside in summer. This is perfect. The best beer. I told you it's the best beer in Albania. And now we can totally agree with it. So if you ever had beer from the brewery directly from a tank, this is the freshest way to get it. It's never been bottled. It has gone on the kegs. It hasn't been sitting in a shelf somewhere around the world or in a bar. It's straight from the tanks. Amazing. Hey, Gazur, Gazur. My friend here is telling me I gotta finish the whole thing. Whole thing? No, now you now you see that I am. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Building. <laughs> Next up, I think we're gonna see how they bottle and how they keg the beers. Oh, what a crazy experience! This is so unique, and this is not a tour anybody can do. Only VIPs. Uh, yeast propagation section. So this is where you increase the number of cells of the yeast. Yeah. Okay. It's freezing this room. So this is where the magic happens. This is where the beer is really made. We are under the fermenting tank. Look right here. The volume right here is 58,000 liters. Wow. I've never seen a room like this. When you go to big breweries like this, everything is different compared to the small breweries. Alright, let's go. In this room, they check the quality of the water they use for the beer. So to make sure the water is the best for the beers because the water is one of the main uh, ingredients that the beer needs. So like I said, they produce like 10 million liters of beer every year. Right over here, they're canning. So there's their canning line. It is a massive line. Like, dude, this is crazy. I haven't been to a brewery this big in a long time. What a production facility, huh? So that was the canning. They also do the kegging over here on this side. As you can see, tons and tons of kegs. They're running kegs. The amount of beers just sitting here is like a billion dollars in beer. All right, guys, now we're going to the beer garden. We're gonna drink some delicious beer, three different beers, the light, 
the blonde, and the dark directly from the brewery is going to be the best experience. The best. I mean, the whole experience right now is awesome. And this is private tour. Yeah. You can't do this as a tourist. You can only come here to the garden and drink. drink. And that's it. And probably buy some souvenirs if you want some glasses, yeah. right? And this is the bar in the garden, as you can see. Never ending mugs. I love these mugs. Really, really cool. This is Korcha, Korcha Brewery. And what we have here on tap is the blonde. The dark is only bottle, right? So we're gonna try some. I, I want 10 liters, 10 liters. <laughs> I love this beer garden. It feels like I'm in Germany, somewhere in Munich. So many different beer gardens out there. God, this is amazing. Look at this. Super nice tables, umbrellas. You can eat if you want to. But the reason we came here, What's the drink? We should come here. Uh, there is a one week beer fest which is organized here in Korcha. And uh, that's amazing nights, you know. Everybody comes there, all Albanians, all the tourists that are around here. So we enjoy a lot. One week beer party. So we're trying the blonde and the dark. The reason we're not trying the light is the guy was like, it's a little too light, too little alcohol. So we're doing these. Mm. Same thing I tried earlier, right? Fantastic beer for the summer, cools you down. Not too alcoholic, not too filling. This is the bad boy right here, the dark. Mm, I love it. Espresso beans, darkness. It's, it's so it's, I feel like it's like a porter. It could be like a brown, but they call it just dark. Fresh, same as we tried it in, uh, inside. It's been a while since I've drank beer. I've been drinking a lot of rakia, a lot of wine, even some brandy on this trip, but I haven't tried any beer. My first beer, and there's a lot of beers actually in Albania. Like I said, this is a great experience. Coming with your family, you know, I have lots of kids here, families, they're having some beer, obviously, and good food. And I'm sure they have like delicious food that's made with some of the beer. That's what they always do, like we did earlier, like we had delicious pork rib that was marinated in beer and then baked. Oh my God, that was phenomenal. The restaurant, Vasilis, Tavena Vasilis, great food, all delicious pork and beef, good vegetables, people there are super nice, and I love it. It's like an old school house, right? Outside terrace, inside, they also have a dining area in the bottom. And then after that, we came over here to the Korcha Brewery, the oldest brewery in Albania, 1928. You can't do the tour we did, but you know, obviously it's great for you guys to see the process, how it works, and all the hard work they do to create this delicious beer. Come here, again, come here, drink, eat, and guys, if you love this video, please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment below, subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. I'll see you in the next travel food adventure in Albania. Gazor. Gazor. Good morning everyone, this is David Hoffman from David's Been Here, coming at you from beautiful Albania. I am super pumped because I'm here at Farma Sortira. This is a farm in the middle of the mountains on the border with Greece. This is located 90 minute drive from Korcha on the way to Permet. Today what we're going to do is we're going to have a breakfast feast. We're going to go to the kitchen, we're going to explore the farm, we're going to go horseback riding. I'm super pumped, look at this, this is where they get their fish, this fish right here. My bro. Yeah, bro. Are you ready? Uh, of course, I'm very ready to have a tasty breakfast in this beautiful nature farm. I love it. Nida. Hello, David. Thank you for the invitation. You're welcome. What is this? It's fish trout. If somebody orders fish, you guys come and just get it from here? Yes. So it's a fish farm. Yes. So trout, and then you also have lots of meats, right? Cows, sheep, pigs, horses, chickens, dogs, everything. <laughs> everything. This property is beautiful. Look at this. You have the fish farm, you have small bridges, there's like a stone bridge, there's two different areas to dine, and right here to the left we have some of the guests of the property, so they actually have some cottages, so people here eating breakfast are staying here. We're on this room, so another room, very similar, and yeah, we're gonna start off with a little coffee. Well, that was quick. I need another one. Morning, bro. You good? Yeah, bro. We need a coffee. You finished. I, I just started. 
been here many times. This is the only stop we have from this part of Albania, from uh, Korcha to Permet. So it's a perfect place because it's exactly one and a half hour from Korcha. So take a rest here, enjoy nature, then one and a half hour to Permet. So it will make our trip amazing. So if you're driving from Korcha all the way to your casa like we are today, it would take four hours minimum, no stops. But you need to stop, you need to stop here, for breakfast, enjoy. Okay, so some of the ducks were crossing and they fell in and the water's too cold for them and they can't get up because they're very, very small. So this guy's gonna help them. He's gonna get them, basically catch them and then release them here. All right, let's see breakfast. We're gonna have some Albanian donuts for breakfast. Petula, petula with butter. We have some marmalade, some yeah. eggs, and right here, she's mixing the dough for the petula. So she's mixing it. Hardcore and then she's gonna put it into the fryer and right here. We also have some cheese. Oh my god Goat cheese hmm salty amazing So this is the Albanian donut we've had it so many times sometimes it's small sometimes it's huge Yeah, this one's medium size medium size. So that's very fresh you say so we're going to taste it a lot and you so, mix this with marmalade or leek? Uh, with uh, honey, marmalade, with honey is the best. So. The best? Yeah, with honey. So here we have like a hundred petula. So I'm gonna grab a little one and I'm gonna get, oh, you know what? Easier with this. Yes, yes, yes. Like this. Oh, this is the honey. All oh, the best. Like right here. So just put the honey. Mmm. This honey is unreal. Man, we have to eat breakfast in the table, man. I know, but <laughs> I can't wait. We need right? it right now. Yeah. And this one's actually very doughy, nice and crispy, not not too golden. The honey. All right, it's time to eat. That was just like it just wet my appetite. Petula with honey. That honey was too delicious. Too delicious. Too delicious. Yeah. Okay, so the dining hall over here got really full, so we decided to go sit one of these beautiful tables. It's like a small hut, nice round table. Oh, this area is great, man. Look at this. It's like a picnic area, right? You know all the ducks here? They keep chasing the ducks. And here we have breakfast. Amazing. Got eggs, butter, petula. Is that glico or is that marmalade? That's marmalade. And we have some tomatoes, cucumber, honey, cheese, and delicious uh, juice over there. I don't know what juice that is. That's plum juice? Sorry, sorry. Cherry juice? Cherry juice? Yeah. Time for breakfast. Time for breakfast. That was so, so good. Healthy. So healthy. Mmm. This is fresh. Throw off with some eggs. The eggs, the honey, the cheese, the petula, the butter is like non-stop. I know, I know, it's crazy. And they also gave us some amazing bread, so I think this is perfect for this, right? Oh wow. I think the coolest thing about where we are right now is that we have ducks around us. Yeah, it's just feel nature. Nature, I mean you hear the water running. Yeah. So this is nice. so I nice. To take a picture of. We have rakia. No breakfast is complete in Albania without a little bit of rakia. And Jali cannot drink. Only oh. night time. Oh strong. So strong. This is like the strongest one I've ever had. Like fuel. I mean it's good. It actually tastes very similar to the grappa this one. Same taste, obviously made from grapes. So for the petula, best thing to do is just get a bunch of honey with that. Just let it drip all through. Mmm, this honey is unbelievable. The petula. It's unbelievable. Mm-hmm. It's sweet, it's a little thick. And here we have the honeycomb. That's the best part. That. Mm. Eating this healthy food, you can live 150 years for sure. Mm. So in the future, you should come and eat Albania for like uh, for a few years. If you need like to mm. be healthy, always so healthy, man. Yeah. Like these eggs, they were laid today. You know, I'm eating it right now. That's why it's so fresh. It Taste is so fresh. The oil they use. Comes from the land, you know? Everything is fresh. So good. Mm. This, the cheese, 
with the honey, it pairs amazingly. Nothing better. What an incredible breakfast. Even though it's simple, it's delicious, it's healthy. Well, the butter is the only thing that's not healthy, right? Super fried. Let's try some of this marmalade. Yeah. What is this, cherries too? Yeah, it doesn't look like summer at all, right? Yeah. This is like mm. spring, autumn. Mmm. Simple, delicious. I think they gave us way too many petalas. They gave us like 18 petalas. I had two and I'm like, done. Delicious marmalade. The honey is unbelievable. Eggs as well. I mean, the whole experience is very relaxing and enjoyable. You know? The best is if you sleep here. They have some small houses and you can feel the sound of nature all night, all day. So it's amazing. I have slept here about three or four times. I'm not oh, sure. Yeah. yeah. And you wake up with the sound of birds, with the sound of water. And the best way to do that is to have some rakia, right? Yeah, rakia, <laughs> nature, so it's uh, amazing. So these are the hats for the journey. Horseback riding, I think this is gonna be cool. Like that. Is that correct? Nice? Yeah, yeah. Hi there. How you doing? I love your hat. Your hat? Okay. Uh, nice, Uniam. very nice. Okay guys, so we're gonna go on a horseback ride now. We're gonna do only half an hour because of time constraints but usually it's one hour, two hours, half day, one day, five days. You can go deep into the mountains, go camping. They have different packages. All right, this is my horse. Me? Okay. Anna, pleasure, pleasure. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you too. Awesome. <laughs> Love your hat. Thanks. <laughs> okay. Where are you? Where's your horse? My horse is that one. Is your horse? Bye bye. Bye. Let's go, let's go. Good. So we just started our ride. As you see behind me, we have some of the cottages. Over here we have some sheep, shepherds. And here we go. Horseback riding in Albania. I had no idea we could do this. And here's where the adventure begins. Starting to go into the forest. We have a stream right here. Ten minutes into the ride, it's pretty moderate. Going slowly uphill, going through the forest now. But one thing I say, there's a bunch of bugs, so it's gotta be like squatting them. Woo! There's the wilderness, dude. In the mountains, in the ancient land of blood and honey. Hey, you look really Albanian with that hat, man. Yeah, because I'm Albanian, man. I I wanted you to be Albanian. You look like a Zoro. <laughs> How do you ride a horse? Very easy. Hold this, you direct the horse, right? And you kick, 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 and they keep going. I love riding horses. It hurts after, but it's fine. So we just did 15 minutes and uh, that's it. We have to turn around now and go back. But great experience so far. Love the stream right here, you hear that? Nature. Er, John's having a lot of trouble with his horse. His horse keeps getting stuck. Woo! My horse is picking up some speed. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Let's go. They're exciting now. They are going back. Yeah, they're excited. <laughs> yeah, because the horse knows he's going back, so he's super excited. He's like trying to get there faster. Doom, 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 doom. Thing is that if you've ever been on a horse when it goes really fast, man, it's hard and you gotta be really careful, obviously. It's dangerous, not so easy. This horse is way too excited to get home. Oh, oh, oh. Slow down, buddy, slow down. Woo! Woo! The past two minutes, this horse flew, flew straight to where we got on the horse. Oh, mine flew. <laughs> yeah. He didn't that, stop, man. That was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. What an experience. Only 30 minutes. I highly recommend an hour, two hours, that'd be great. Remember, when you get off the horse, always come this way and back out. Never go behind the horse, never. You did it, you did it. Yeah, we did it. <laughs> we did it, we did it. That was really fun. But now it's time to see how they make the lacro, Albanian pie. And here, as we walk over the bridge, over the fish farm, you can see these guys are fishing. This is an activity you can do. So they give you a pole, you come here, you fish. When you catch a fish, you eat that fish. Or you can just order fish and they'll come here with a net and just get one. Now we're gonna see how they make some lamb satch. First, let's see the butcher. Butcher's right here. Okay, here we go. Let's cut up some lamb. Yeah. 
and now he's taking the lamb to the satch, which is basically a huge pot. We have the fire, and what he does is he puts the lamb right over here to the side. He gets the ashes, right? All the ashes, he puts it under, and that's how it cooks. So how long is it gonna be ready? Like an hour? Two hours. Two hours to be ready. Okay, I, I have to wait two hours. I need to try this. And right here, this lady is rolling out the dough for the lacroix. As you can see, super, super flat dough. I mean, she just keeps going hardcore at it. It is paper thin, super tiny. Oh man, what an experience here. Incredible, you got a fire, you have the dough, you have the lamb, and fish. And now we're gonna catch a fish. Okay. So my friend here just went in there with the net and just was going crazy, just diving deep, diving deep, diving deep. And he finally pulled one out, and we're gonna cook a fish. So cooking fish, making lamb, making lacroix. Lacroix. So what does I mean? This is like a long breakfast. A long breakfast. <laughs> so after he caught the fish, he brought it over here. He cleaned it. So he basically just took it apart, cleaned it, threw salt inside, then he put it here on the grill. Five minutes later, it's ready to eat. Super fresh, super tasty, all natural. Good. Can't get better than this. Getting a fish from the farm and then eating it right after? Yeah, what, what else do you want more? Oh, so fresh. <laughs> While we wait for the fish, the crow, and the lamb to cook, we're gonna go check out the farm. We're gonna see where the cows are, the veal, and we're gonna see one of the cottages. This uh, area is helping a lot of people around, so they buy, uh, they have almost everything here, 90%, but uh, they also buy some if they need more because many trees come, they buy milk, they buy cheese or... But most of it is produced in that, in that farm. So they keep the, the cows inside because there are some uh, wild animals like wolf, like fox, anything, deer. So for that reason, during the night time, they should keep the, the, the animals, domestic animals inside this area. Duck. Looks like they are mixed with turkey. You can see the, the head is like turkey and the, the body is like duck. Rosa Guinese. So that's the pigs. He went in and he pushed them out so we could see them. Oh, but it's, it smells horrible in there, dude. I can't be in there for more than one minute. <laughs> you know, pigs, they live in filth. They love living in filth, bro. <laughs> All right, Let, this is cool though. I mean, this is real farm life. This is yeah. like the real thing. Yeah, that's the farm life. This is yeah. stuff you don't yeah. see yeah. unless you live on a farm and actually do it. You know, it's so hard to see this anywhere else in the world. Even other countries in Europe, you don't see farm life. Albania is really, really authentic in, in terms of that. Now we're headed to see one of their 15 cottages. Over here, there is six. So I'm guessing the rest on the other side. These are nice, nice wooden cottages, big. We're gonna see the room. Let's see it. This is our bungalow, family bungalow, with two rooms. One room is with double bed, and the next room is with two singles bed. As soon as you walk in, little area, you can probably leave your bags here, right? Leave this your bags is here. for the winter side. That's the heater. Uh, yeah, so by Albania. Yeah, very simple. Love the wood. This is a cottage. For me, this is a cottage. And then over here, we have a queen size bed. Nice wooden room. Oh, I mean, in the winter time, this would be amazing. Yeah. Turn the heater on, relax here. Over here, perfect place for the two kids, right? Yeah. So I stay here with my wife, two kids here. This is gorgeous. I come back with my family. Yes. I come back. Yes. For sure. And then here we have the bathroom. This, this is like modern. It's like, you know, rustic and then modern. And then over here, we have the view, right? Yeah. Because view. The sheep, the sheep with sheep. Oh wow! Check this out. The shepherd right here. Got the sheep. Got the lamb. Oh man, nature. So beautiful in the mountains. This is really, really an experience, guys. I highly suggest doing this. Courtship a permit. Stop here. Stay a day. At least a day. Salim and Daddy. Oh boom. Now let's go eat. Let's go try some more food. It's the best. 
So they are preparing the bread, it's a bread of house. So they take all the, this uh, and put inside the taba, we call it, and then inside the bacon. Uh, all the breads will be so, so tasty because it's, hand, it's made uh, homemade. Yes, David, the fish is ready, so it's, uh, we can taste it. So delicious. Oh man, from right there? Yeah. The best. My turn, my turn. Wow, delicious trout. Oh man. Mmm. The flesh is so soft. It tastes roasty, right? Yeah. Oh, I can eat this whole thing. I'm not stopping this one. Nakar, which is similar to burek but much more tasty. So what is she putting into it? Because she just had a layer and she put this like, it looks like yogurt but mixed with eggs and something else. Yeah, so it was mixed with eggs, butter, uh, cheese, yogurt, uh, Turkish theater, uh, olive oil. So it was many, many, uh, many, many things. So that makes it more delicious. And then she added another layer of dough on top and she's adding butter, right? Now in five minutes, we'll put it inside the, the fire and in five minutes, it will be ready. That fast? Yeah. Okay, so they put it down. Then he heated up the top, put it on top, yeah. put a weight on it. And now he's getting the ashes. He's gonna put them under. And then five minutes later, it's yeah. cooked. So he'll put some, uh, some more uh, ashes on top of it. So the lamb is ready, so is, are you ready to try some lamb, special lamb? We're gonna literally open it and taste lamb directly from the pot. Amazing. Delicious. All right, my turn to try the lamb. I can't even believe this. Trying the lamb directly from the pot is crazy. <gasps> it's still really hot. Oh man. Mmm. These little ribs, look, little tiny ribs. So juicy. The amount of fat here is delicious. Mm, it's so good. It's unbelievable lamb. So David, let's try this uh, chicken, chicken village, which is very different from uh, the chicken we try in uh, other places because this is in the farm. So under it is, we call it petka, but it's like uh, tagliatelle, Italian, but uh, it's um, more delicious. All right, my friends, I'm gonna try chicken from the village. Oh, it's steaming. Oh man, this flesh, tender and juicy. Mmm, let's rip it up. So I'm gonna get some of the petka. Oh, it's still it's really hot. Mmm, nice and soft, buttery. Oh, you mix this with the chicken? Too good. Winning combination here. Mmm. And we have two different wines from the house, red and white. So let's try the white. Oh, it's good. What grape is this from this area? Yes. Okay. In this area we have very, very good. Good vines? The wine is very famous. Mmm, delicious house wine. Shesh and Mavu. Mavrut. 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 It's good. It's very old grape. Oh, sorry, my hands are sticky, so I'm holding it a little weird. So I'm just gonna clean my hands, and next we're gonna try that. Burek. Burek. Right here, let me grab it. Too much tar. It's very hot. So I'm gonna start off by trying the Chumi Star. Chumi Star, milky pie. Chumar means milk, right? Man. It's sweet, it's creamy, it's a little burnt on the top. Oh, this is an incredible dessert. Straight up milk and dough. Mmm. Wow, it reminds me of the textures of a flan. Lacquer. 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 Woo! Look at this <laughs> creaminess. Mmm. Mmm, my God. The cheese and the milk and the butter. Yeah. Like you've tasted it all in one go. Oh, it's so nice. So super hot. Mmm. -hmm. Mmm. So basically, it's like the best burger of all time because it has 
sweetness, has creaminess, a little burnt. This is like the never ending breakfast. Mm. Still really hot. Gotta let it cool down a little bit. Oh, but it's good. It's like a, basically like a pizza, right? Fold it. You gonna try it? Yeah, that's hot. Mm. You are right. Very delicious. I'm not a fan of burk, but I really like. Guzor, thank you. Nice to meet you. Falamenderi, 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 falamenderi. Oh, it's the best, the best. Falamenderi. Oh. Farma Sotira. Sotira? Sotira, yes. Sotira. The best experience. One of my favorites of the trip in Albania. I mean, there was so much today. We had breakfast. We saw the pigs. We saw the cows. We were horseback riding. We saw one of the cottages. And then we saw everything being made from lamb. Uh, we saw the locra. Lacroar, lacroar, lacroar. Tumor store. Tumor store. I mean, we saw like five different things being made. The food is delicious. The experience. I highly recommend doing this journey. Come from either Korcha, going to Jirakasta, or the opposite way. If from Jirakasta, I guess it's like three hours. From here to, from Korcha to over here is 90 minutes. Stay here at night, enjoy, relax. You can do a multi-day tour. You can go horseback riding for like a week. Whatever you really want, right? Yes. yes. Thank you so much. You're it was, welcome. this is like, so good. It was a pleasure. So good. Thank you. Amazing experience. So guys, if you love this video, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below, subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. And you know what, let's have another rakia. One more rakia, you and me. <laughs> <laughs>
best view of this road, man. So you can see the Viosa River, the mountains, beautiful mountains. It is Greece, but the view is from Albania, so it's part of Albania. You like our hats? So, if you guys love our hats, give a like. Let's go permanent. So, next stop will be a wonderful place, natural place called Bernia. Bernia, there are some thermal water. So, it's we have three kinds of thermal waters in that place. One is for kidney, one is for heart, one is for skin. So, you'll love it. Alright guys, so we are about two minutes away from the Ottoman Bridge. This is one of the most beautiful Ottoman bridges in Albania. There's like two dozen, I think, in total. Yeah, yeah. but uh, except the bridge, this place is famous for the thermal water. So, as I mentioned before, the thermal waters will uh, make your life healthier because it will change your, your skin, it will change your heart and your kidney. So if you drink some water, it will make your kidney in a, it works in a better way. Your heart and your skin will be clean. Yeah, yeah and the views there are epic. You have the Ottoman Bridge, the river yeah. and the mountains. Yeah. It's like the photos I've seen, that's why I wanted to do this. I was the most excited about this day. This day has been like up there for me. Road trip from Korchet to Trikaster, epic. We made it, right? Yeah, we are reaching the Ottoman Bridge and the thermal baths. This place is packed, but everybody here comes for the thermal baths. I'm here for the Ottoman Bridge. Yeah, they're all swimming. Here we have the river, pretty dried out. Over there, thermal bath. And that is the Ottoman Bridge. Dude, epic. Mad people here. Yeah, it's so amazing. I miss that place. I have like two years not coming here, but it looks really, really more beautiful than the first time. There's Burek Melakra Vienga Malchova. E produar nga nena tona nga gjushe tona ga sofra zagorite. E ketsit. E ketsit? E ketsit, vienga zona e zagorijes. E pjeku në fur. It's a baby goat right here. My friend here says sleeping, but it's, it's an eternal sleep. It's an eternal sleep, bro. You, you like this one? You like the hat? Huh? Super. 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 It looks more beautiful than this side, he said. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. A uh, good, good. <laughs> la facha, la facha. They're also doing some amazing kebabs right here. The burek, the wine, the marmalade. So first we have a uh, raki with with honey, which is traditional from Permet. We are very close to permit, 10 minutes away. How much is this bottle? Sagu Sanga? I owe 9 million. 9 dollars. So this is part of uh, this, uh, slow food permit. Organizations. Organization that for the food, food organization. Alright guys, this is the bridge. Unfortunately there's like a concert <laughs> being performed right on the water. Crazy. But it's here. Look at this. Gorgeous. Mountains. The river. And here we have the bridge. This is crazy. They have a concert, literally like a little bridge where they're setting up for a concert right here in front of the bridge. All right, let's go on the bridge. Let's cross it. Let's see how narrow it is, how old it is. Whew. Yes. Ottoman Bridge. The highest point of uh, this place. We are on top of the bridge, middle of the bridge. In fact, this is a bit dangerous. There is no left really? to right. Careful, but it's very original. You can see the stone is like 500 years old, and the view here you can see the swimming pools over there one, two, three, four, five. The one on the, on the way back. So, this makes this place unbelievable. These stones are very, very slippery. Be careful when you cross this bridge. You don't have to cross the bridge, you can cross through the river and go straight to the, the pools over here, over here, and over here. But definitely, experience is going over it. You know, this is really ancient. Not ancient, but medieval times, basically. Medieval time, yeah. So here to the left, throw a bath right next to the river. But over here to the right, we have two other ones, two huge ones. Yeah, we, we came here on a mission just to see it. And unfortunately, we can't go in, but... Sabona! Sabona! For the skin. This is for the skin. This one's packed. Look at this. Oh, man, I really wish I had my... My trousers, my bathing suit. What is it? Incredible. Beautiful thermal bath. Woo! No, 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 oh, no, 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 no
Are you from Albania? Yeah. Yeah, where? I'm from uh, Tirana. Tirana? Yeah. And you drove here for this? Um, yeah. <laughs> I come from Bologna. Here. Ah, okay, yeah. okay. Awesome, awesome. Thank you. And this is it, guys. People come here with their families, enjoy the, the hot springs, throw a bass. The sulfur, you can smell it. It's amazing. Hey, the water is cold. It's nice. I really want to enjoy it. Every summer is cold, your window is hot. Wow. That's the best thing. You don't throw a bass. Everybody here is with their family enjoying summer. It's hot, the water's cold. In winter, like my friend said, it's winter, so it's freezing outside, and this is hot, and the steam comes out. But what you should do is come here. Come here. So get some of this amazing thermal water. Sulfur. Oh, 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 oh. Put this to the side. This is the best. Oh, God. I really just want to dive in, man. But, unfortunately, we have no time. So let's go, try some Glico, and enjoy Permit. Oh, and let's take some cold beer because it's very hot. Cold beer. Bira, bira. 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 Let's get some beer. Sabona. It's uh, Elbar beer, the newest beer in Albania. One of the best. Let's try this. Sorry. Oh, it's delicious. Yeah, it's very good. Especially in this heat. Yeah. Ooh, refreshing. And I love it. This place is like a big barrel. It's a light beer. Yeah, very refreshing. Very, very, it's very fresh. Really, very fresh. We just opened the, the big tank. So we're having, we're enjoying. Very cheap. One dollar. Yeah, one dollar. It's 4.1 percent alcohol. Yeah. It's nice. It's a point. Uh, Three three liters. Yeah, good. What do you have here? We have some uh, desserts. Well, not dessert. He has a watermelon glico, yeah. a walnut glico. This uh, is a fig glico. Yes, and or orange. And orange. Orange glico. Yeah. Oh my God! Look take, at this. Take it for free for the photo that you make. For tonight. free? <laughs> no, dude. No, no, no. Take it. Oh no, no. Take it, take it. How much does it cost? How much do you charge? Uh, I charge it two hundred fifty, but take it. Two hundred fifty. So two two dollars and fifty cents okay, U.S. Yes, yes, yes. Amazing. Thank you, bro. Thank you're you. You're welcome. You're welcome. So this takes thirty days. I explained yesterday. So they have to change water every day of the of the yes, nuts. In order, uh, because it's, it's a bit it's a bitter. Uh, yeah, it's the it's, walnut. You know the walnut, the yeah. green walnut. So it's green walnut. The green walnut. So we put it in the water. In the water, and we remove it for thirty days. Thank you. Hey, welcome. Thank you very much for being here. Thank hey, you. It's been here the best. <laughs> Nobody else. We made it to permit. Besides the sea, they have everything. Food, glico, wine, rocky, rocky, river, river, mountains, and the stone of the city in front of us. A beautiful, a great stone, which is so strange. It's a natural sight. Also, all right. So we made it here to Permet, Woo! and we came here to a house that does glico. So this is somebody's house. So they welcome people, they give uh, like some glico tasting, degustation and raki, so it's special. So you can enjoy in a traditional house. Hey, our drone. Savone, Savone, Savone. Savone, Savone, Savone. A beautiful house, right? I love it. Yeah, yeah, I love it. We have the vines. Where's the glico? Glico. <laughs> oh, rakia? <laughs> rakia, <laughs> glico. Va bene, va bene. So this is an old house in Permit. Right here on the floor, this is like a rock mosaic, dates back to 1908. And they also have two rooms. My friend here, Que Pala Italiano, he wants to show me <laughs> everything here. All right, look at this, they also have a garden here. Savone, oh, questo glico. Okay, they have tomatoes. Wow, figs everywhere. So my friend here is telling me this house is 100 years old. Right here in this room, we have a queen size bed. Over here we have a twin. Beautiful bathroom. Really cozy. They have air conditioning. The roof is a hundred years old. A hundred. Cento. Cento anni, Madonna. Madonna. And I love this. Over here they have like a stone wall. So that's stone. Over here is plaster, obviously. The bed. TV. Mi piace molto. Bello, bello questo. And right here in front they have the garden. The vines. Here they have fruit. Posso? No, it's not ready yet. It's not ripe yet. Lush, lush. Right here we have the second room. It's very similar to the one on top, but it's a little different. Obviously over here we have the twin bed, we have the queen. Over here we have TV, bathroom, similar style. So they did all these curtains by hand. All by hand. Beautiful. Okay. I see. Alright my man. Glico. Let's try it. 
Okay, so well, David, let's start with the best one, which is uh, nuts uh, Lico, which is the best and my favorite. Yeah. So yeah. Ah, this is nuts. Cherry. This is cherry. Cherry. Oh man, this looks so. Yeah, it looks so good. That one. Yeah. Oh my god, it's like jello. This is orange. Easy to understand. This is with fig. This is fig, but we have to make sure, like, because we shouldn't put uh, the fig in nuts, you know. Mm. The best Dico. Oh my god, and this? My boy just tried the fig. It's delicious, but we have Rakia coming. Guys, my turn to try the fig. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Mm. Oh my gosh. Mmm. It's like crystallized. Oh wow. This is so tasty. With the nut and everything. Oh wow. I have some ragi. Rico with ragi is the best combination. Mm hmm. Bizarre. Bizarre. <laughs> That's some strong stuff. Oh. Yeah. Oh, we need some more like Glico. Glico? One Glico, one. Hey, Gazor, Gazor. Gazor, Gazor. Gazor, Gazor. Gazor. Oh, wow. She Gazor with us. Okay, so. In Permit, not only men drink, so also. Also women? women? So, women. So, she's one of the strong women that is uh, like a. Uh, how is it? The pride of Albania. The women. You should check out. Yeah, yeah, I'm Oh. <laughs> it's good, right? Yummy. All right, guys, so this is the watermelon. Whoa, it's like dripping hardcore. It's usually very just moist, full of water. This one's thick and rich and sugary. Mmm. Rakia. So literally every time we eat a Glico, we have a little Rocky. A little bit. We literally drink one shot through the whole process, but it's good. It's different, you know? I never had fruit like this. It's like, it's almost like it's fermented, full of sugar, really marmalade. I don't know, it's hard to explain what it is, but it's the fruit, it's the full fruit. When it is green, so it's uh, it's still so you, you it's know, not ripe. It's not ripe. Yeah, no, yeah, exactly. So you love the watermelon when it is like ready to eat, and trying it in another way is it's like uh, you cannot, you can never try somewhere else except here in Permit. Okay, yeah, let's try now. Look in the not or as an appreciation. Super, better than watermelon. Okay. <laughs> this is my favorite. This is my favorite. Mm-hmm. Questo migliore. Questo migliore, eh? So packed with flavor, right? With nut, the seed. Yeah, everything inside. Yeah, because usually you have the yeah. nut and like the seed yeah. and it's like super super hard. But this is like soft and it's delicious, it's mouth watering. And all this, like all the juice. It's, ooh. Nah, un altro, un altro. Un altro. Un altro. Sì, questo è. Savita. Sorry guys, I'm speaking Italian right now. I'm, I'm flowing right now. Ooh, mm. Orange. Mm. Now I'm confused. Which one is better? And this is orange. Wow. Look this orange. It's literally the flesh and the skin of the orange. Mm. I love it though because you actually eat the flesh, the whole thing, the skin, everything of the orange. When you drink rakia, you become part of the family. So, you must drink. Forte. Forte. The last one we tried today is with cherry. Mm. Alright guys, let's try this. They give us a few, right? So I'm gonna get like two of them. Oh yeah, that's good. Mm. Oh. <laughs> it's like a burst. It's just sour. Mmm, sweet. Femendeli, Femendeli. Femendeli. Femendeli, Femendeli, Femendeli. Femendeli, thank you so much. Thank yeah. you. The Glico, the Rakia. My Delicious. friend. This Delicious. is called the House Mosaic? House with Mosaics. House with Mosaics. House Mosaics, right here. The Mosaic, 
1908. Wow, that's how old your house is? But it looks brand new. It's amazing. They have vines, they have glico, rakia. I can live here. <laughs> okay, gracias, gracias. Gracias por todo. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm, try I'm trying to speak Albanian here. So after Glico, amazing, delicious Glico, we are going to the rock of the city, which is a huge rock in the middle of the city. And people don't know how this rock came in the middle of the town. Okay guys, so we made it here to the center of the town. Beautiful old buildings. And right here we have a huge rock. And there's a staircase to go to the top. And from there we get epic views of Permit and the river. So this is the main attraction of uh, Permeti and uh, from the archaeologists they believe that these rocks exist here since uh, 4th century. So I mean they found some uh, some uh, excavations from 4th century. So from, from the top, it, which is uh, 42 meters high, we can see the best view of the city of Permet. Okay, so they have a staircase here. Woo! Steel staircase on the rock, thank God, because there's no way they were there's no other way to get up here. Oh man, it's tough, it's a tough hike. This reminds me of like Meteora in Greece. Very similar. So dude, there's ruins here. All right guys, we made it to the top of Permit on the rock of Permit. What an incredible spot. We have the flying of Albania here. Incredible views over all the mountains, the valley, the river. People are there in the water. This is just beautiful. We had an epic day today, driving from Korchi all the way over here. What a beautiful time. We made it, we saw the Ottoman Bridge, we saw the Rock Bass. Then after that, we started to have some Glico and some Rakia. Perfect pairing. Tried a few different Glicos at the House of Mosaics, right? In 1908, that's how old the house is. It's crazy up here, there's lots of wind, beautiful views. I mean, this is what we do with Permit. So if you ever in Jirakaste or in Korchi, come out here. It's like a you know one hour drive from Jirakaste, a three hour drive from Korchi. Korcha, Korcha. Can't mess that word up. All right guys, I hope you love this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you comment, subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. I'll see you in the next round for an adventure in Jirakaste. Peace. What's up everyone, this is David Hoffman from David's Bin. You're coming at you from the road in Albania, in southeastern Albania. Coming at you from Permit on the way to Jirikaster. It's only a one hour drive, and tonight what we're doing is we're going to our hotel, we're gonna get a tour of the hotel, then we're gonna go out, see the bazaar at night, and then go to dinner at the epic spot. My boy. Yeah, man, are you excited for the second UNESCO city, Jirokaster? So, first check in in our, uh, our hotel at Giro, then up to the Korchula restaurant, one of the best view and best restaurant. Here in Albania, there's two UNESCO World Heritage sites. It's Berat, the city I went to a few days ago, and then Jirokaster. Berat is more north, still in the south, a little more north, and then Jirokaster is really far south. I mean, the only way to get here is from like Serande, Vlor, and then coming here from Berme, Korcha, right? That's it. I'm excited. Woo, it's late. It's already 5.30. We're hungry. We're pumped. I can't wait. This is one of the cities that you have to get ready for because it's just gorgeous. UNESCO. UNESCO World Heritage Sites are always intact, ancient. I mean, this one's medieval, right? Like, more Ottoman style. Yeah, yeah. It's more Ottoman. That's why it's in UNESCO for the Ottoman architecture. It has, it's all in stone. Giro Castro means city of stones so argiro castro silver castle silver silver castle yeah i mean it's like because it has a color of the silver all right guys are you ready we're almost there about 45 minutes to go beautiful mountains lots of farmland really hot right now it's summer it's mid-august this is amazing so we are on the way to giro castle about half an hour from giro castle but this place is so special for every Albanians. They should stop here when they go to Jirokaste for a cold water. So you see so many sources of water coming from the mountain. Very cold, very fresh. So we try to stop this special water. Okay, we're drinking. Hello. Wow. Super. 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 Amazing. <laughs> hey. Wow. Impressive, so fresh, man. Let me take off my hat for a second and just like 
Oh, oh, my body shivered, dude. It was freezing. Oh, that is amazing. So cold. It's like, dude, I've never experienced this cold, fresh mountain water before. Multiple times here in Albania. Let's go. So we are reaching Eurocaster. From here we can see the castle, but except the castle, Eurocaster has the typical houses, Ottoman houses, all in stones. So uh, this is the second city we have in UNESCO, except two cities. We have Butrin as a national park. We have polyphonic songs which every five years they are, we have a festival of folkloric songs, of folklore uh, dances here in Girocaster. And it was supposed to happen this year, but beco before, because of situation we don't have it this year. You are going to enjoy to have a great time here because many, many things to see and many artists on the road selling products, souvenir shops, cafes. So we are headed uphill over here, old town, beautiful buildings, all Ottoman buildings here. Up here at the top, we have the castle, and we are staying at which hotel? Argiro. Can't wait. Can't wait to see my room. Can't wait to eat. I'm starving. Bizarre. Oh, another great day in Albania. And this is it. Hotel Argiro, right here. Literally entering the old town. And here we have, I guess, some like people that are important here, right? Incredible. I can't wait. Let's go see the room. Let's get ready. Let's go to dinner. Okay, so you have to take a staircase to get to the top. The entrance to the hotel. 1891, that's how old this building is. Okay. So we got our room cards, we're on the first floor and we both are trying some Glico. More Glico. More Glico. Man, I'm starving. Cheers, man. Cheers. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh my God. Bro, you're like red. <laughs> and this is my room, 119. As you walk in, Wow, okay, great, love it. Queen size bed, got TV right here. Over here we have a couch, table, relaxing area. Put your luggage right here. And here we have some water and coffee, some tea. Little table, perfect. Let me see the bathroom. So we have a shower, toilet, faucet, towels, and we have a view. Let me see the view. Oh, we have a terrace. This is amazing, guys. Wow, I'm gonna sit out here. I'm gonna drink a little rakia tonight, chill out, think about life. <laughs> All right, let's go to dinner. I'm hungry, I can't wait to explore Jercaster. We're in the castle, we're in the old town, let's go. Now we're going to check the area around the bazaar, then we're going for dinner at Korchula Resort. Is it? Great. And we're the only ones that look off because of the huts. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, this is real Albania, man. Okay, so here in the old bazaar, as you can see, it's like a cross shape, lots of souvenir shops. And my friend over here is telling me it's an old well in her shop. An old well. Yeah, there is here inside. What? What is that one? Uh, that's an old well. It's about 400 years old. It's uh, 17 meters deep and 8 or 9 meters of water. It depends on the season. We have found it only three years ago. My mom is working in this shop from the communist period, so it's like 30 something in years. 33, wow. 34 years. <laughs> Nothing better happened to me. <laughs> <laughs> so three years ago, they redid this entire bazaar. They redid the floors, the buildings. I mean, everything looks brand new, but also original how yeah. it used to be. Exactly. So they're keeping the same old style, but with a new new floor, new facades, and everything now looks amazing. It looks more cleaner, more beautiful than it was before. So here, as you can see, we have a lot of souvenir shops because uh, Girocaster has a lot of artists that produce uh, wood, wooden craft or stones. So they'll, they'll impress you, we'll see tomorrow, they'll impress you with their, their hard work and their talent. So we have to get in the car and go up and go to the top of the mountain. To the top of Mano for the best view restaurant. And this is the new town, the real life. Oh, where we are is tourist area. Yeah, there is tourist area, but we are going back to the old area. So we'll see many houses and there is a very steep road going up, so you'll feel a bit like scared if you can go and you worry how people can walk every day that steep road you'll see it in a few moments. 
Yeah, I mean, from the bazaar, we can see it. All the old houses, Ottoman style houses, all the way to the top. It reminds me of so many different places that are Ottoman cities, you know? And here we go. Okay, where we're going is really, really high up, like extremely high. There's no way to walk here. We saw some of the people that we saw in the center where we were last, where it was like a little commotion there, like in terms of like trying to get up the ramp. But here we are. We're getting here over to the right mountains, the city. This is gorgeous. My God, what a view. What a view. Okay, guys, we made it here to Hotel Korchula up at the top of the mountain. Look at this. This is like Ottoman style housing. So as soon as you enter here, epic views, huge terraces, two of them, top, bottom. Okay, here we go. So, Sabona, Malvina, ready, Raki? Yeah. Let's go. We're having a feast tonight. We're gonna eat lots of different things. A lot of things that are traditional here, including lamb and a soup. And I don't know, lots and of vegetables. Traditional pie. And what? Traditional pie. Pie? Yeah. Okay. So this raki is made from the house. Yeah. Wow, it's strong. It's like brutal. Wow. Time to go into the kitchen. Quick raki to wake up. Thought we're gonna see how they make some of this food. Ciao. Savona, Savona. Oh, questo che. Right here what we're doing is we're making a soup, but this one is a little different, right? So we have some meatballs. She's also adding some flour. Que piu? So we're making a garden salad here. So we have two different greens. We have prosciutto, so crudo. Then we have Parmesan cheese. On top we have balsamic, so glazed balsamic. It's delicious. She also added tomatoes, cherry tomatoes. Then it's gonna be bomb. So good, thank you. So this soup is made up of corn flour and the stock of the veal, plus we add meatballs, correct? And these are veal, veal meatballs? Oh, the best. Over here we're making chief chi, which is basically rice and herbs. Fritters, delicious. This guy is just going non-stop with the pizzas. Hey, send me one. Whenever you're mad. Okay guys, so we saw how they made tons of different things there. Man, the lamb being baked and then thrown into the forno, amazing. This is gonna be the best. This is gonna be such a great meal. We're telling me, it's probably gonna be the best meal I've had in Albania. I don't know, I don't know. Okay, man, so we have uh, the best dishes of Girocastra here, a lot of things, so let's enjoy. All right, guys, so we're starting with this amazing soup. I just saw how they made it. Delicious soup, so different. There's meatballs inside. These are, I think it's a veal balls, right? Yep. And it's actually not super soupy. This is like more like yogurty, you know? Not, it's a little thick. Oh my God. So tasty. Mm. The creaminess, the oil, a little bit of paprika on top, and then this delicious ball. This is phenomenal. Mm -hmm. The veal has herbs, it's lightly fried. It's perfect, perfect combination with the soup. Mm. Creamy, a little sweet, a little salty. The best, the best soup so far. Gazor. Gazor, my Gazor, friend. bro. Gazor, we are happy to have you in Albania. Delicious food everywhere. He's so right. Delicious food everywhere. Tavas, salads, soups, lamb, veal, goat, fish, pasta. Oh, too many to count. Mm. And wine. And this is the house wine. And it's absolutely delicious. It actually feels like a reserve, man. It feels great. All right, so we served ourselves one of everything. They literally gave us two of everything except this one, which is like a spinach pie. They gave us four. This one looks like a tomato pie. This one is rice with herbs. This one's veal. This is the salad. And over here we have, it's like a thick tzatziki. <clears throat> and here we have the lamb. So they brought us the best, most delicious lamb leg ever. They baked it and they put it in the forno, so it's like the super hot like oven when they make the pizza. That's gonna be the smell. The smell's insane. So this lamb looks more beautiful than the real ones. So I think I'm gonna start with this guy. Look at this. 
This is the spinach pie. Okay, here we go. Mm-hmm. Mm. Spinach onions. Nice dough, soft. Guys, next we have this delicious rice herb fritter. Let's just break it up. Oh yeah. Mmm. I love that you taste the land here. Super condensed rice. Mm-hmm. I think the best thing to do is add some of this delicious, I don't even know, it's like a yogurt paste, right? Mm-hmm. So fresh yogurt. Wow. It's amazing with this. Okay guys, next I'm gonna try the salad. Nice fresh salad. Amazing greens, got parmesan. Get the prosciutto, so crudo. Oh, the best thing here. Get the prosciutto and the balsamic. Balsamic glaze. Wow. Great salad. Really refreshing. It's actually a palate cleanser right now. So it's going from these pies over to the next thing. Mm. And right here we have the veal ball. Right? So it's veal with some herbs. I think this one deserves a little bit of this delicious sugar sauce around top. What delicious fritter. So good. I'm not eating any of this food. This is like a pie but it has different veggies in it. Looks like red pepper, green pepper, onion, crispy. You know what the name of this one is? Okay, we're trying this burek. Different style, it's gonna be delicious. Mm. For guests. For guests, tablero. That's Tabla. this, that's this. No, man. Tastes similar. Yeah, it tastes similar, but uh, like they use uh, what is in tava, they use for, for pie. So like uh, they have paper, uh, what else, onions, green many peppers. things, green pepper, yeah. Peppers. Okay, last bite of this and we're jumping on the lamb because I can't even look at it anymore. And we did it, we got to the lamb. The lamb, the best. It's incredible, I've never seen it done this way where they put it from the oven and then they put it into the, basically the hot oven, which is the forno, right? Oh my God. Again, the fat, the juices, the flesh, and we have that whole leg. They're bringing us the second one too. It's so good, it's like jumpy. Like it jumps in your mouth, you know? All right guys, I gotta say, it's one of my favorite lamb dishes in the bulk. I mean, I've had so many, but this one is like, dude, it's falling apart. Look at this. Mmm. Gazor. Gazor. We're ending dinner here with some delicious dessert on the terrace. We have live music, a lot of people here, everybody's enjoying their time. Families, friends, it's amazing. Here we have some delicious rakia, obviously. My boy here, manager, he makes it himself. And this is all shaft, traditional dish here. It's dessert, it looks delicious. It looks almost like a panacota, similar. And then next to we have glico or glyco, right? Okay guys, let's try this. Delicioso, my god. Mm. It's creamy, it's soft, a thick panacota or like a flan. That's like the, what I'm getting here. So that's it, guys. We had an amazing time driving over to Jurecaster. We saw the road, we tried some amazing water, water strip in the mountain. We got here, saw the bazaar, saw my hotel, and then came here for dinner to the restaurant, Cordula, looking over the entire city. Really epic. I mean, this is the place to come if you want to see Tira Castle from the top. Way higher than the castle. Delicious food. We had a soup. We had a few different bureks. Oh, the food is so good. And the lamb. The lamb is unreal. I mean, it's like a different world of lamb. Juicy. Phenomenal. All right, guys. So if you love this video, give me a thumbs up. Give me a comment below. Try my channel for more awesome travel content. I'll see you next travel food adventure. Into the castle. I look like ghosts right now in the dark. No, this is too good. I'm getting fat here in Albania. I love it.
Good morning, everyone. I hope you're all doing amazing. This is David Hoffman from David's Bin here, coming at you from beautiful Girocaster, Albania, a UNESCO World Heritage City in the south, around one hour drive to Serande, four hour drive to Tirana. This place is gorgeous. Beautiful old town with a bazaar. You have a castle on the top, as you can see right there. And I'm starting off with breakfast here at Hotel Argyro, the hotel I'm staying at. We have a massive breakfast. We have like eight different things here. We have donuts, burek, we have cheese, fig marmalade, coffee. And then after this, we're gonna go explore the castle, like a 90 minute tour. And then we're gonna see all the bazaar. Souvenir shops, stone carving, wood carvings. And then we're gonna have incredible Jirakaster lunch at a typical restaurant right there in the center. David, this city is so beautiful. You're gonna love it. It's my favorite city in Albania. And right here, we're starting off with Pispili which is a pie with spinach. Mm-hmm. The boric, the cheese, this one's with spinach. So fluffy, it's almost like a quiche, right? And I was saying before, like this rooftop is just beautiful. Look at this, old town over here. We have like a abandoned building to the left. We have a street to the right. We have like eight different tables. And this is on the second floor of the building. I'm staying in, you know, the first floor, to the third and the fourth floor. And we just got some eggs. Eggs with some pork, right? Oh, what a beautiful morning. This bacon's phenomenal. Whoa. Next up, let's try their borek. Borek every single morning in Albania. Mm hmm. This was super doughy. Wow. Incredible. Goat cheese. Fluffy. Not too salty. Alright guys, so this is the Albanian donut, the petula. What you should do, you should just get some of this delicious fig jam. Marmalade. Oh wow, it's sweet. Mm-hmm. And I thought this was gonna be like a super doughy donut. It's actually not, it's very hollow. So it's like a basically a hollow ball. This is one thing that you're gonna eat a lot in the south. Petula. We've had it like every single morning. Every single morning. Mm-hmm. Gazur, bro. Gazur, bro. What a great breakfast. Yeah, super. My boy here loves the petula. He's that thing, he's like 10 of these a day, at least. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. It's so I, good. I really doubt. All right, guys, I'm just gonna enjoy my breakfast and then we're gonna go to the castle. See you in one second. As soon as you walk outside, you have a little terrace and then right there is a the bazaar. But we're going up to the castle first. Yeah. I'll see you later, bro. Bye. See you later. Where's my friend? Where'd he go? Hello, there he is. Yo, where are you? Hi, man. Let's go to the castle. Also, yeah, let's go to the castle. And this is the bazaar at 9 a.m. 9 a.m. It's, it's pretty dead right now, obviously. People are still waking up, but there's some souvenir shops open. Like a few of them, actually. Not many people today, huh? No, they start uh, coming later, but uh, afternoon is like most uh, the most crowded time for this bazaar because it's not so hot. It's a perfect time to walk. Staying like one minute from one, the bazaar. Let's say let's say twenty seconds. Twenty <laughs> seconds. This is no, there's like no better place to stay, bro. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and then we make a left and go straight up. Okay, so we passed the bazaar, and now we're making our way up the castle. Straight up this way. So there are two ways. In fact, you want to take uh, the easy way, which is not only walking, or you want to take the steps. But it's easier if we take this way because we can take it slowly, yeah. and uh, five minutes we'll be up in the castle. Okay, before getting up to the castle, we have to check this tunnel, which was a bunker. So, Albania, during the communist time, our former leader built a, a lot, a lot of bunkers, around 200,000 bunkers. And this one here is one of them. You can't imagine this uh, Cold War tunnel we call, has 80 rooms inside. 80 rooms in this tunnel? Yeah. Right under the castle? And people didn't know about it until 1990s, when communism was finished. Because it was closed. It was closed. Inside there, there were rooms for sleeping, so food for one year, and everything they need to leave for one year. <laughs> I walked like 20 seconds in, and it's super dark. It's cold though. It's nice. Oh my god. Oh, it never ends. <gasps> Look at that. Hey, bro, this is crazy. Amazing. All right, enough of the tunnel though. Let's go to the castle. On the way up, you have beautiful views over the whole city. Mountains, gorgeous. The very top over there, that's the restaurant we went to yesterday. Restaurant Kerchula, delicious food. And here's the bazaar. And slowly we're there. I mean, it's basically, what, a five minute walk? Not bad. Yeah, around five minutes. Slowly walk. 
And they open at what time? Nine? Nine o'clock. Yeah. Entrance fee is 200 lek, which is around two, two dollars. So this uh, mother, si, si she, she sell uh, many things here, like all collected from the village. And she just let us grab some and this is a fig, look at this. Super fresh, very straight from very her farm. Very... Mm. Oh my god. So juicy. Mm. That was an amazing fig. I love this. On the way up, we stop, we have some fruit, continue. Mm -hmm. That's mountain tea. Mountain tea. Amazing. I gave her a hundred, which is like a one US dollar. She let us try a bunch of figs, some blackberries, and she gave me some mountain tea. The best, right? The best. Albanian tea? Albanian tea, the best collected from the mountain. Wild tea, let's say. So we're almost at the entrance. As you can see, a bunch of vendors. This one's selling some tablecloth. Yeah. Tablecloth, but all handmade. All handmade, yeah. yeah. Beautiful. And this is the entrance. Wow, what a massive castle. Akalajir uh, Castle, which means uh, Argiro Castle. Argiro was uh, is a legend about Argiro, which uh, she sacrificed herself for her baby during the 15th century when Ottomans arrived here. But uh, we'll see the place where she jumped from the castle. So we're very lucky because today is Sunday and Sundays in Albania you can enter most attractions for free. So we have this map, map of Argiro Castle, which can show very easy how to go and how to navigate inside the castle. So we are in the entrance over here. So we have uh, the most beautiful area is from the left side where we can see like uh, Ali Pasha canals which because this castle the latest uh, renovation has from Ali, Kassa, uh, Ali Pasha time which was during the 18th century. So Ali Pasha was leading all this south part of Albania until Janina agrees nowadays. So these are cannons from the Second World War, Italians and, and Germans. Germans. Yes. So and, th they and brought them here. Yeah, and we're going to see one of the three tanks that that still exist from Italian Fiat Fiat company okay. produces a very small tank and we have one or three examples all over the world. This is the Italian Fiat L640 dates back to 1940 only three remain in the world they produce 280 check this out I'm on top of it you're allowed to do this you can see inside man the guy would be there the gunner just shooting this is crazy dude and it's still like perfect I mean it's rusty but Wow, let me let me get down from here. <laughs> look at this guy, it's crazy. He would look through this hole and then from there he would shoot and then the way in either from the top or from the side, right? So in this in this uh, panoramic view we have the best view of the city of Girocastra. So here we can see the typical Girocastra houses, the wow. bazaar, everything we can see from here, our hotel which is where the flag is. This is incredible, bro. Incredible. What a view. Here in this garden terrace overlooking the city, we have a bunch of cannons. Now, what's the story behind these cannons? So, this cannon dates back to 18th century when Ali Pasha was ruling this place of Albania up to Janina, Janina, Greece. But except these cannons, he also built a huge aqueduct bringing the water from the mountain here, about 12 kilometers aqueduct. And so he made this castle a living place, a safe place for to live for for many many years. So then he was killed by Ottomans, and uh, this castle uh, changed the direction and everything. Back in January 1958, this American aircraft came over and landed in Albania. There's two different sides of the story. It says here the U.S. version is that he left from France, going to Naples, Italy, and then he got lost in fog and came here. Basically, he got lost and landed in Albania. But the communist version is that they forced him to land, sort of like they took down a spy. And now we're headed to the clock tower, right? Yeah, but before the clock tower, we have a very, very beautiful arena, a very a big square where every five years, as I mentioned before, we organize here the Folklore Festival, which is very important for Albanian tradition, not only inside the borders of Albania, but also outside Albanians living in Macedonia, Montenegro, Kosovo, Italy, everywhere. And this is a stage, huge stage. Yes, because uh, during the folklore dance, we have like uh, 20 or 30 dancers dancing in front of people. Yeah, so everybody stands up there, yeah. drinking, eating, yeah. enjoying, and then here it is. And that's usually part in the afternoon, right? Like yeah. before sunset? It, yeah, it's usually nighttime. And this is the end of the castle, where the clock tower is. And this clock tower dates back to when? 18th century, built by Ali Pasha again. So here also we have an exit or entrance, but only for walking. So for people, not for uh, for horses or whatever. 
And here also we have interesting story, the legend of Margiro, which is very important for the castle. So he jumped from the castle just not to be in the hands of Ottomans. So she jumped from here? Yeah. What? No, I mean, that's it. You jump, you're done. I mean, it's a 40 foot drop until you hit rocks, but then you keep tumbling. So you wouldn't survive this. No, he didn't survive. <laughs> he survive. What are you doing over here, bro? Yeah. Wow. I mean, again, stunning views. And then the clock tower. I mean, this is the best spot to get photos of it. Yep. This is like perfect, dude. Incredible clock tower. All right, guys, so we explored Jitacaster Castle, the main monument of the city overlooking the entire thing. As you walk through, you see cannons from World War II. You have a terrace overlooking the city, more cannons, the stage, clock tower, and then the legend at the very end, right? I mean, that is the entire grounds. You can spend more time if you want to. I suggest coming here right when it opens at 9 a.m. because now it's already 10, 15, 10, 30, and it's getting really, really hot. After finishing the castle, now is the best part of the tour, the bazaar. So here we see many handcraftsmen. So they do a, they do a job that I, I, you never seen it before. So we stop the first one, which is a, a man who works on the stones. Okay, so this guy only does stone. Right here outside of his, his store, you have beautiful stone carvings. I love the one of Albania. Yeah. Welcome, the fish, a lot of like stuff of Jesus. And as you can hear, he's carving. Hello. Hello. Wow. This is really amazing. This guy's going all out on this welcome stone. Wow, look at this. I mean, the chips of stone are just flying in the air. You gotta stand back a little bit. I love it. The stone, it says welcome and it has the two eagles. And here, as you see, the shop is like amazing. It's really, really incredible. Come here, buy a souvenir. This one's beautiful. This is like Chiricaste, that's big stone. Chiricaste, love it, man. I love this. Yeah. His dad was the real maestro of the, of the stone car carving because, you know, he was like uh, the, the model of this, this profession. And uh, unfortunately, he passed away five months ago. So his son now has to continue with this, that tradition because if he stopped, it means no more uh, stone carving in this, in this part of the city. Okay, so I was looking around. I really like, obviously, the flag of the country, the two eagles. This one's thin. I could put this like in my office. I mean, really, I would love a huge one, but I think it's gonna be too much weight. They're really heavy. This one's light. This one's actually a little heavy. I'm taking this one for my boy, my assistant, Brandon. And, uh, yeah, okay. So 20 euros, he gave me a little discount. A little discount for me. Everything is so beautiful, man. Like, amazing, amazing, amazing. Amazing. Thank you, thank you. Bye-bye, thank you. Thank you very much. So after the, we saw the stone uh, carving, so now we're going to see the wood carving, which is another specialty of Girocasca. Let's go and check inside. Here we can see the, the master of wood carving. So he's, uh, he worked like a physician, you know, he has to plan to calculate everything. So what he's covering right now is an old house and it's like different, I guess like different levels, right? So like some parts are a little out, some are way deeper into the wood. So it's like different dimensions in a way, similar to what these are, right? So all of these, you can see like here, it's like super deep, he cuts all the way through, but then he carves out the castle. These are the best for me. I mean, I would take one of those, 6,000, so $60. Over here they have, I mean, they have lockets, they have, yeah. And he does it all just by hand. Right here, he just carves everything. Right, this is a studio. Yeah. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. And then you can also buy names. I have to buy something here. And guess what? I found one of my daughter's names. He also has Sienna, my other daughter, but he has it with double N. So what he's gonna do is he's gonna cut it. He's gonna cut it and then, you know, move the A in. And he charges $1 per letter. So right here, $6, and that would be five, so $11. Beautiful gift, look at this. My daughter's gonna love it. I don't know what's gonna put it, like maybe like on our desk or something. <laughs> but I mean, it's beautiful. This is like incredible, man. I mean, this is the one I really love, this one. Look at this one. That's the best. I'm gonna put that right here. Yeah. 
This guy is truly a master. Look at this. He just cut the end, the second end off. He added the A, he glued it. Then he added like this beautiful design using this little torch right there. Wow, my friend, look at this. It's perfect. That's it. Sienna's gonna love it. Oh, Sienna's gonna love it. I can't even believe this. All right, guys, so I bought three things. I bought a double eagle, which you see behind, and I bought both my daughter's names. The, the names is $1 or 100 like per letter, and then it's 2,000 for that one. If you want, you can get one of these, it's like 6,000, so it's $60, but I spent 3,000 total, which is roughly $30, and this is what you need to do here. You have to come support the locals, buy some stone, buy some wood. Hey, Ferrundeli, Ferrundeli. Thank you. Thank you so much, thank you, thank, thank you. you. Well, I'll see you next time. Next time, big eagle, huge eagle. <laughs> What's crazy is that we haven't even made it down into the bazaar yet. This is just the beginning. It's just the beginning. Look at this. It's right here. The first three shops, so we stop in two of them. <laughs> <laughs> so now we are going to check a shop which is a new coming from Albania, which means the name is Edua, which means I love. Okay. Every product is Albania product, 100%. And this is the shop Edua. As you can see, it's all artisanal goods. Over here we have some mountain tea, we have some oil. We have different liquors, marmalades. Over here we have non-stop bottles of rakia, you know, pure rakia, and they also have like different fruit rakia. And right over here we have some wines. Keep going, I mean, just everything is artisanal, right? Oh, this is like, this is soap? Wow, nice. Pomegranate soap. Over here we have more marmalade. So what do I take? <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. I know what you want. I know you want uh, some rakia. Some rakia? <laughs> yeah. I don't know man, but look, look at look at this. Some, uh, this is amazing. Olive oil. So the one thing we could do here is we could try some rakia. Yeah. Amazing. So it's all made by the company. Edua. This is pure grape raki. <laughs> it's a strong one. Mm-hmm. I like it though, it has a little bit of the barrel taste. Uh, really? You, you really strong? You think it's strong? I mean, it was a little strong. No. Okay. okay, guys, this one's made from cherry. Cherry, cherry raki. Oh man, huh? so, these are strong. Oh yeah. I need some before lunch. Yeah. Let's go. And they also have what I was really impressed with is like the soap. This is soap, huh? Yeah, artisanal soap. Artisanal soap, traditional house. So I'm buying some honey and some soap. 500 and 500, so 1,010 US dollars. This is great though, this is for my mother-in-law. She loves honey, she wants some honey from Albania. And this is for my wife, because she loves soap. Stay clean. We finished up with three shops, and now we are in the center of the bazaar. My hotel is right down this street. Here we have two of the beautiful houses, the most traditional ones, right? And they have been rebuilt because this place was renovated or you know restored about three years ago, right? Yeah. Three years ago, they fixed everything up. They changed the floor, so basically all the stones are new. They cleaned them all up. They fixed all the houses. You can see beautiful houses. Love the windows on this one. It just like comes out. This is very traditional Ottoman style, yeah. old school. Yeah. And then what else do we have? Just so more restaurants, Burek shops, more souvenir shops. So, we have a surprise. We're going to the top of this building. The six, what is that? Six Sides? So it's called? Six Sides Building? Yeah, they're restoring this building. So, a little bit of a disaster here, but it's great. God, the building is amazing. Even though it's under, like, restoration, it's still beautiful. Look at this. So all the beams are brand new. The restoration, the roof as well. It's all brand new. And also these, right? And I told you yesterday they changed this part. They changed it. So, yeah, not the walls, the uh, walls, but the part of the uh, the third, like the third roof is all changed. And this is it, guys. I am on the terrace. It's a little tilted, a little unstable, but this is it. This is the old town, right? Bazaar right below us. This is Smack Center, castle, mosque. Beautiful. Love this place. One minute walk from the center. You have bar, restaurant, hotel. Kodra. And from here, incredible views, the overlooking everything and the castle. Yeah. Look at this. So they have a beautiful terrace overlooking the castle. Old town. Love the buildings here. It's time to eat. This is the kitchen. Hello. Savona. This, this is the big chef. The big chef. Yes. Where's the lamb? <laughs> so right now the chef is preparing to cook something very very traditional, Girocastrin. And what's the name of the, the dish? The tava of Girocastra. 
So this is a chicken dish with red peppers, green peppers, onions, and then they're gonna put it in the tava. So first they're gonna put it here, they're gonna pan fry it, and then he's gonna put it in the tava and he's gonna bake it. So he also added some garlic, then he added the chicken. So it's basically like a stir fry, it's a stir fry. He's putting different spices into it. it smells amazing. And over here he's cutting up some tomatoes, he's throw that in as well, whoa! This guy loves the fire. He loves the fire. It's like non-stop. It like hit me. The oil hit me. Wow. He just threw some herbs in there and then he added some delicious goat cheese. That looks so bomb. This is gonna go in the tava and then bake? Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. And that's it guys. So basically he heated up the tava in the oven and then he added everything inside and now it's ready because it's so hot that it's still cooking it. This dish looks delicious, creamy. Oh my God, the vegetables, the chicken. Okay, let's eat. Cheers, my friend. Gazur. Gazur, can't wait to try tava. Tava of Girocastra. So good right here. I'm sure, man, I'm in love with it. It's so good. Mm, this is nice, no? Yeah. It's a little smoky too. Oof. Perfect. And here we go. We got the Jitocaster Tava. It looks so bomb. Like so delicious. Oh my god, it just looks so creamy and delicious. And next to it we have a humongous salad. So it's like Parmesan cheese. We have some mushrooms, some cucumbers, spinach. I mean, so much goodness. I think we have to start with the salad. Alright my friends, let's try this incredible salad. Looks so crunchy, fresh. Oh, my favorite part, I already could tell. It's gonna be the mushrooms. Mm-hmm. Wow, chopped salad, nice balsamic on top, oil. Here we go, guys. Oh. Love it, there's actually some raisins in here. It's a very fresh salad. It's like perfect to have right now. And one thing they were telling me is that here in Jericasa, usually people get like small, you know, they don't get like 20 plates, like tapa style. They get like one, like this, like the tapa, and I saw it next to it, so that's it. I mean, it's a lot of food. And what I love about this restaurant, besides how good the food is, is the location the view look at that bro we're looking at the castle right there i love albania look at this incredible creamy tava i just can't wait tava time still hot oh my god oh bro the herbs mm-hmm this is the first time I'm trying a chicken tava, but I gotta say the creaminess of this, the herbs, they just bring out so much flavor. Mm -hmm. It reminds me of like a creamy pasta. Obviously, no pasta, but just like the creaminess of it. Very similar. Mm, almost like uh, thick whipping cream. Jitter you won my heart with this one. This is so freaking incredible. This is the first time I tried chicken tava. And it's the best. Yeah, Get the bread. bread. So it's basically like a mini focaccia, and you put the towel on top. Mmm. Everything is too delicious. It's mouth watering. Gazor. It's the best tava Gazor. in Albania. The best tava. So, David, this is the traditional dessert, Yoshap, which is made with uh, sheep milk and uh, the juice of fig, which is similar to milk. So they put it together in a temperature of 100 degree. Let's dive into this Yoshaf. Oh man, as soon as I break into it, it's like, it's thick, super thick. It reminds me of the panacotta style, but in the bottom you have the figs. Mmm. Creamy, got cinnamon, the fig. This is like my new favorite dessert, bro. You can't get enough of it. I'm not a huge dessert person, but for this, all day. All right, guys, we have one last stop here in the old town. We're going to an 18th century home to see how life used to be. Um, they're gonna show us basically the different levels, like three different floors, right? Yeah. The bathroom, kitchen, living room, everything. bedroom, everything. And this is it, this Kenduli house. Beautiful stone building. The windows, the roof, everything is really, really authentic. Obviously, this dates back over 200 years. Let's go inside and learn more about it. Okay, so we're about to enter the house and where we're standing right now is the courtyard, right? So we have the courtyard, vines here, 
and this first level was where the family would cook. They would cook and they would also, you know, cook for themselves and for their animals, domestic animals, right? And then second floor is for their winter, right? Winter room is summer room. Winter room, and then the top one is summer room, right? Yeah. Perfect. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna walk through, see some of the different rooms. As soon as we walked in the first level, went to the left, and here this is a storage room. What's really interesting is over here, this is made out of chestnut wood. And the reason for this is because it helps fight earthquakes. Look at this old stones. Storage, right? They're still storing stuff for today. We had many bunkers in Albania, but this bunker was built before we had it in around Albania. So this, in case of any earthquake, this is the only house that has a bunker that can protect from these bombs around. And this next room is a natural refrigerator. So this is where they would store all their food. Next to it, besides that wall, is the storage, the water storage tank. So the water tank was behind to cool the room that we saw as a fridge. And also it serves here as a, for water, what they need to wash the, the plates, the dishes, so I don't know. We just came up here to the second floor and here we have the winter room. This is the living room, right? So we have a couch, huge rug. And over here, as you can see, these aren't really windows. This is to fight invaders. So anybody's coming in, shoot the arrow. Same thing here, no, that's not that. But here you have another one. And there you have another one. And this next room is the kitchen. Pretty simple kitchen, right? So there is the fire, make some coffee. Here they have the water for the next room. And this last room is the bedroom. As you can see right now, they obviously have like modern beds, but back then they didn't have this. They just had something on the floor, like, you know, not a mattress, but more just like rugs, lots of rugs and pillows. Over here, another fireplace, there's nine inside the house. Nine beautiful fireplaces. I love the architecture of the fireplace. And then we're gonna go upstairs now, the last floor. Check. Is the summer residences, right? So they'd sleep downstairs and live downstairs in the second floor when it was winter. But now it's summer. Summer right now, this is perfect. The wind comes in, look at the view. Open. Open air. And yeah. Some, you see, uh, enter the Skanduli house, no upside, enter. That's amazing. So basically, the air comes in, and th this is natural air conditioning for them. Amazing. Basically, a little uh, relaxing area. Veranda. And over here we have a few different living rooms and some bedrooms. Amazing, amazing house, guys. This place is beautiful. We went through all three levels, saw it all. Just an incredible, you know, piece of history that's still alive today. Yeah. This is awesome. I can't even believe it's still here. It's like perfect condition. Yeah, guys, we explored all Jiracaste. We started off at my hotel, Argiro Hotel. Argiro Hotel. Argiro Hotel. We had a delicious breakfast. From there, you have awesome views of the castle, also the old town. Everything was Bazaar. super good. Bazaar. I love the Petula. Petula is the best. Petula was some of the fig. Oh, so good. And after that, we walked all the way up to the castle, saw the castle, walked through the whole thing. It's from the clock tower, you see the cannons, you see the, where the legend is of Argiro. Same thing, yep. right? And then after that, we went down, went to the bazaar, saw so many different types of uh, artisanal goods, right? So we saw the stone carving, we saw the wood carving, we tried some rakia at the at Edua. the Edua. 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 Then after that, we walked through the whole bazaar and all the way up to lunch at restaurant Kodra. Kodra. Yeah, the, the best, the best chicken, chicken dish, dish That's true. ever. I mean, the tower was absolutely phenomenal. We saw how he made it. We got the view. We had some rakia with it as well, and you have to definitely soak it up with that bread. Oh, so good. And we walked over here, to the house, and that's it, guys. So when you come to Jirakasa, do everything we did. You will love it here. Take at least one day to explore. It's a UNESCO World Heritage City, and it's a must visit when you go to Albania. And guys, if you love this video, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below, subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. See you next travel food adventure in Albania. Let's go.